Here's one, here's one very important detail that rules out my ability to, um, abuse save stating for certain, for certain things that I might want to use save states on. I'm on a fucking PS3. I'm on a fucking PS3. Because PCSX2 sucks with this game. If you upscale it, you get a bunch of visual bugs, so you have to run it at native res. So, I mean, already fucking PS2 res. And it has a shitload of weird visual glitches. So, I'm on a PS3. Let's watch the intro while I configure the video of this a little bit more. Yeah, I figured this would be a good time to play this game because of Master of Duel and all that. Kind of putting Yu-Gi-Oh back on the grid again. Also, I lowered the sub goal because I woke up and I had 280 sub points instead of 305 like I did that last stream because the low sub count go down. So, GBA combat 325 subs now. Yeah, this intro goes hard. We're gonna watch it like once or twice while everybody's filling in. Oh my god. Why is it so loud? Holy shit. That it's uncalled for. Yeah, that's gonna have to be adjusted. As you can see, this game is not normal Yu-Gi-Oh! Thanks to the, uh... Intro video guy taking the time to take every fucking go around every fucking tile of this grid. Okay, yeah, I can, um... I can lower the audio. Oops. That was me. Oh, it's got a game on it? What the hell? Oh, there we go. Apparently there are filters on my fucking capture card. Okay. I'm on the white rose side, the soundtrack slaps. Okay, okay. Fucking white rose soundtrack enjoyers. If Depending on how well this playthrough goes, we might dip our toes into white rose side, but I plan on this being just um, red rose because I have never done white rose and I already har struggle hard enough going through fucking red rose. Time to deal with Wow. Yo, Orox with the 12 months, thank you. Uh, I need to adjust the crop on this because of the overscan. When you, uh... When you play PS2 games on an HDMI, it really shows you how much extra headroom they give fucking these older games so that, you know, they can overscan nicely on a CRT, so let me just, uh... that up. What's White Rose? Okay, so this game, if you're unfamiliar with this game, this game has two routes that you choose at the start. You can either side with Yugi, part of the, the Red Rose faction. Yugi, also known as Henry Tudor. Or you can side with uh, Seto Kaiba, who represents the White Roses. Uh, this game's plot is based on the real-world uh, War of the Roses, if you want to look that up, is a real thing. What is the fucking OBS? Come on. This is hard to drop with.
Yeah, this shit goes hard. It's got really accurate to the War of the Roses. Yeah, I remember looking it up and I was like, wow, they weren't kidding. This is based on a fucking British war from the fucking 15th century. What a weird choice. Also, apparently in Japan, this game is called Forbidden Memories 2. It's got a lot of similar, like, sound effects and fusions. And it's got the same fusion system, more or less. If you've ever played uh, that Hell game. I'm almost done adjusting this. Just overscanning a little bit. Make sure there are no stray pixels in the bottom. Top. Evidently, I did not do this before the stream because I think it would be a perfect time to do it. Here we go. How's it look? Do you see any any stray pixels in the bottom and top? Any black lines? What deck are you going to pick? I think I'm just going to pick a bird dragon deck. That's what I. That's the only deck I'm familiar with. Just fucking shove mountain terrain up the fucking opponent's asses and then roll them with dragons or birds or whatever. Yeah, bird face. If you choose... Okay, so in, during the name selection... This is probably loud as fuck, isn't it? Um, during name selection, when you're picking your name, if you put in names of Yu-Gi-Oh characters, uh, you get special decks, but I don't plan on doing that. Petition of Darkness. Yeah, you can get that one as well. That's actually what the speedrun uses, but the speedrun also uses fucking passwords, and I don't plan on using passwords unless things get really dire, but I want to finish the game, you know? Probably put it, like, right there, because this intro is probably the loudest this whole game is going to get, I think. So I actually put that one more decibel. Okay. Yeah, according to this game, the war was fought with card games and also, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh characters. Is your PS3 exploding it? Thankfully not. I have it under my desk, so you can't hear the fan, but the fan do be doing shit. But I, I, God, I was wrestling with the fucking... Okay, so if you've never used a PS3 with a capture card, yeah, this is an old fat PS3. This is I put the disc in and I'm playing the game um PS3. Not the older, not the old old one, but the um software emulator, whatever. Um what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, I was wrestling with the fucking capture card uh like an hour before this was starting. And um if you've never fucked with a PS3's HDMI into a capture card, uh, the PS3 does not like it when you do that because this is a big Blu-ray player, big fucking baby, more like. Um, so, you have to have a splitter. Look at the stream chat. What? What is what emote? Hoggers? What are you guys talking about? Are you posting poggers? What's going on? What's wrong with me? A kid dancing? Stream over? He has no idea. What? Oh, there's stream over. Okay, I'm looking at the chat in the fucking what? <laughs> Why is poggers? Oh, I think I know why. I think I have two emotes called Poggers. I think there's one on BTTV and one on FFZ. And uh, one of them is very different from the other. So... That's... <laughs> that's funny, actually. I see it. I was, I was looking at Discord, I was like, what? Fucking assholes. I think it's because one of them is on BTTV called Poggers, and the other one's on FFZ called Poggers. One of them's a GIF. I think I added that recently. Or maybe I did that a long ass time ago and I don't... whatever. Relax. Uh, new GIF emote, by the way. Uh, Stick Sham Sleeveless. That is me when I see Misato Kataragi 
fan art in which she is sleeveless. Also, there is a card in this game called Rare Fish. Unironically. I discovered that the other day. That's what happens when you hold down. Alright. Well, let's get this shit started. Fourteen eighties. Yeah, everybody's British now. Every fucking Yu-Gi-Oh character is now British. They made shoddy white. I'm also not gonna read because you know that ain't me. So you know, read along. Keep up. Yeah, that's that's Richard three. Yugi Henry Tudor. TJ Henry Yoshi. Yeah, that's Henry right there. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make an FZ emo called Henry and it's just fucking Yugi. Sado. What is that? Does he wear that outfit in the anime? Or is that this, just this game? Holy shit, this shit, this is, this shit is loud again. I just realized how loud this was. Oops. Hold on. Do that on purpose. It's mega loud. Okay, that should be decent. I don't know if it's too quiet. Just this game? Hell yeah. Why does Seto get to keep his name? Isn't he a fucking time traveler? I haven't seen the anime. Maybe I should. Oh, actually, no, Seto does. Seto has a British name as well. His name is Rosenkrauts. Or whatever. Crazy! Yeah, Seto was. I, all I know about Yu Gi Oh is that Seto was so salty, he traveled back in time to get the fucking. to get the run back. Apparently, this is Yugi's mom in this game. Is that accurate to the anime manga or whatever? No? Okay, well... It is in this. Anyway, she summoned us. Which is really funny because you can you can side against her and then duel her. In White Rouse. White Rouse? White Route. White Rose Route. Ooh! Yo, Hope Bagels with the gift of sub to Islet Kingdom Hearts. What is this aspect ratio? Four by three. Actually, hold up. The crop is not normal. I just realized. Actually, no. No, that's normal. It's just fucking the top. The top quarter of the screen is just not there. That's on purpose. I thought my shit was broken. No, that's normal. So have you ever seen Forbidden Memories uh, for the PS One? This is kind of similar to that, but also not at all. When they say Rosenkrauts, they're talking about Seto. This is the last name in this. We are the Rose Duelist. It's OST fucking slaps. Alright, we're going with Stickman Sham or just Sham? There's just enough letters for Stickman Sham, but I think Sham is better nowadays. 
If you name yourself Hank or Boomhauer, you get special decks. As well as Konami. Pit Enjoyer. This theme owns. Shamuel? 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 I kinda like Shamuel. Yeah, I know about the name entry. But I don't want to name myself fucking like T or Yugi or whatever. Shamurai. Yeah, but that's SMT4. If they gave you the robot deck, they got, yeah, that's. I don't think they will. If I go with like a normal name. I think the special decks are worth it, but I mean, you can duel. Um, I think like really early on, you can duel uh, <clears throat> Keith and get like slot machine and shit. I'll just go with Sham. I like the sound effects for this game. Everything in this game is really nice sounding. Farming Keith is a strat. Oh yeah, if you guys know any- if you guys know any of the good shit, any- any, like, cool strats, I would definitely like to know of them, because this game might kick my ass and it might fucking take forever if we don't do the good shit. A fine name indeed. We are in Stonehenge, near Salisbury. God, they really have towns named after fucking stakes. That's crazy in England over there. Why would you do that? You gonna use codes? Ideally, no. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using codes. God, this game has so many perverted systems in it, like leveling up cards, taking five fucking years just to get the first rank so that you can make cards your fucking deck leaders. More on that later. Anyways, talking about the War of the Roses. This is a real thing. Perverted? Yeah, okay, when I, when I say perverted, I mean they, they want you to grind the fuck out of the game just to get one rank. It takes like 500 EXP to, to rank up, and you get 34 EXP when you finish a duel, when you win. Sheesh. Now, I don't remember if we got summoned from the future or the past. But, you know. But it, yeah, it is in a, a Siki. I, why do you say that? I, I, I know what the concept is, but I don't know how to fucking pronounce that, as always. Yeah, one EXP. It's actually four EXP per turn with the card face up, not one. It's two EXP if it's down, but four if it's up. But, um, so, I'll talk more on that later. We, we, we got it. We gotta focus on the on the plot. Yeah, they call it the perfect rule. Because they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh like it's fucking chess. This is the only Yu-Gi-Oh that I knew when I was young, I thought that this is what Yu-Gi-Oh was. This theme owns. I wish this was official Yu-Gi-Oh. I see why, at least with the with the way that this game is balanced, I see why it isn't. More on that later as well. I wonder what it would be like to have PvP in this. I mean, there's offline PvP, but you get to see the opponent's cards because you know one screen and all. Also, I'm skipping this tutorial because the tutorial is like seven years long and it's all automated, so no practice tool. You'll, if you've never seen this game, you'll see very quickly what it's all about. I wonder what decks we're gonna get. What fucking name combination? I think I think if you don't have a special name, it'll just be like the same three ones.
Oh. Okay, so no bird deck, but there's robotic knight. Machine, yeah, machines are pretty good as well. Some sort of algorithm. I, I, I booted up my old save file on this, that, and I was named Stickman Sham, and I had Birdface. Fairy King Truesdale, the illusory gentleman, and Robotic Knight. Is this one good? Is this a good one that somebody was talking about? Machine deck is the best. I, I, oh, hell yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm done with machines. Machines get a deck leader ability at Colonel rank, which is like... I think that's reasonable if you grind for it. They get to move two spaces instead of one. 16, 18. Yeah, fuck it. Robotic Knight. This is a pretty cool deck. The only decks I've ever done in this game to completion are dragon decks. But, you know. Here we go. So here's why the top third of the screen was gone. There he is. Inshallah, he is here. Seto Rosenkrauts. This is a cool ass outfit. I always thought that Seto just had that outfit and everything. He's like wearing fucking armor, he's got like a dragon helmet. Rosenkrauts. Who is Simon McMoran in the actual show? Show, manga, whatever, who cares? Me? He's an OC? Oh, really? That's cool. I always thought that that design was really sick, because, like, he's the first thing you see when you boot up this game. High Druid, he was in Duels to the Roses, incarnation of Shimon Moran. The equivalent of Shima. Okay, I don't know. I don't know who that is either. I love this game so much I don't want to back. So if you have if you have good advice and I'm 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 like getting fucked up and I'm asking like for good strats, then then definitely feel free to uh, offer some advice. But I think Maybe we'll be alright, we'll see. This is definitely a game that will kick your ass if you don't know how to abuse it or, like, get ahead of it. And I- There are some cheese that I know of that I don't want to do in particular, like the fucking pumpkin strats. But, you know. Pumpkin King of Ghosts, yeah, that, and then you combine that with the card that turns everything into fucking zombies. That shit is so degenerate. Because, it's like, the AI in this game will make a formation of cards, like, in their spawn, around the deck leader, and then it'll sit still. And, uh, you... Use a pumpkin card that, like, every zombie card that's face up or whatever will, like, gain, like, 50 strength or 50 attack every turn. And then you use a card that turns every fucking card into a zombie. You just farm. And then you get, like, 4,000 attack and then you just win for free. I'm not doing that. We're not doing that strap. I'm not pussy. I feel like people love... Yu-Gi-Oh! I think everybody can get down with the Yu-Gi-Oh! in some way or another. Even me. But only because of this fucking game.
fusion guide to the stream chat? Hell yeah, no, that's, that's, that'll be useful, because I don't want to, like, if I'm dumping my card, if I'm dumping my hand to, like, get rid of cards and I get, like, a really good fusion and then I overwrite it, I would, like, kill myself in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, so we have to we have to beat all the white roses to get their white rose cards and the goal is to get all eight. Yeah, the Yu-Gi-Oh art style is really cool. I also like the, the visual novel presentation of this game in Forbidden Memories. This game has a lot of, has a really cool art style. I like early PS2 games. Join said, oh no, we're doing, we're doing Red Rose. And based on how good that playthrough is, then we might do White Rose after. But I'm a Red Rose elitist. Although, in White Rose, you can get Regeki. But that's like some obscure, super secret shit. It's, it's a slot rare. More on that later. I'm hurt. Regeki is wild in this game. I can't believe I'm playing this on a fucking PS3 as well. I forgot how fucked up this game runs on PCSX2. Lancasters all day. I, I see I enjoy my duels having good music in them instead of mid music. Now nah, the Yorkus theme is alright. But the best theme in the game is the fucking custom duel theme. I wish that were the if that were the if that were the white rose theme, then I would go white rose, but it's not. This is an early PS3, not hacked it is hacked actually, but um jailbroken, so I can play JP discs on it. That's the whole reason why I jailbroke it, actually. Yugi. Henry Yugi Tudor. Fucking saxophone, dude. Actually, Henry Tudor is my name, but you can call me Yugi. Yeah, you know, that's a logical step. Inshallah, they are British. Maybe one day I'll play Forbidden Memories as well. If I did that, then I would have to do the fucking twin-headed thunder dragon strats. That game has a weird hold over people. That game has a weird hold over fucking like speedrunners and shit. First time I ever saw the game was because Mr. Bloody Biscuits himself was speedrunning it in 2015. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I would do like 15 card as well. I, that would make things a lot faster. 
Oh yeah, in this game, is this a Yu-Gi-Oh thing or is this a this game thing where you can't have a higher deck cost than your opponent? It's this game? Okay. Yeah, so every card in this game has a cost on it, and you have to have, like, say your opponent has a deck cost of a thousand with the combination of all the cards, you have to, you can't have a deck cost that's higher. Also a limit of 40 cards in the deck. This game and several others? Hmm. Yeah, the only Yu-Gi-Oh that I know is this game and Forbidden Memories. I, mean, I know Forbidden Memories is a bit more traditional, but definitely not by today's standards. Last time I saw Yu-Gi-Oh is when I saw a fucking Master Duel and I was like, holy fuck, what are all these phases and stages and shit? But yeah, some some duelists, some bitch-ass duelists with a low deck cost, so you have to rebuild your shit for them. Okay. Who should I do first, Weevil or fucking Rex? Let me look at my deck first, hold on, and let me save as well. Oh. Do I have a memory card inserted or do Okay. Let me make sure that my memory card is inserted. On my PS3. Crazy. Off by Wasteland Rex should be easy? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, that's the one with all the Labyrinth pieces as well. Alright, what do we got? How do I do the 3D view? Oops. Doesn't say on here how to do it. Whoa, okay, hold up. Yep. Put, that, put that back. My deck leader. Huh? What button? Oh, here we go. You can change your deck leader if you want. Actually, you can't without a, a hefty grind. Okay, so. Uh, on this stream, multiple times during the following section of Agrabah, I have remarked, Wow, this this room really looks like the 3D model viewer from Duels of the Roses, and nobody has known what, I'm, what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. This fucking room. Let's start. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to, like, press X to put it back, but... Yeah, okay. What do we got? Oh, we got dragons in here, too. Definitely gonna look at any cards that have effects on them. Spellcaster, zombie, warrior. A lot of warriors. Beast warrior. Winged beast. Okay, I know one... I know one fusion. And it's, um... I don't think I'd be able to do it because this isn't a high enough attack between uh, warriors and winged beasts. This needed to be at least 1300 for it though. Fiends? We have fiends in this deck. I wonder... Oh, yo, it's a little D. Alright, here are the machines. Here's the here's the real, the real shit. I have two of these dudes? I don't know. They have a lot of defense. Literally. Two steel scorpions as well, what the hell? Let's fucking look at this. 250 at... Huh? Okay. Royal Guard. Yo, Royal Guard? Real? Dante? So many defensive cards. Yeah, usually fusion fodder is the point of those fucking cards. Badass. Starter deck is usually a complete mess, yeah. Yo, bat. Okay, so there's a there's a there's a there's a thing on here that says current rank. It says NCO. That means non-commissioned officer. Uh, this game is a ranking system that is extremely fucking perverted because you can't uh, level it up very easily. Um, 
it takes 500 EXP to get them to the first real rank, which allows them to, which allows you to set them as your deck leader. Um, and you get four EXP if they're face up every turn. Your deck leader gets 32 EXP if they win the duel, and they lose like 32 EXP if they lose. There are like 12, 12 ranks. The wasteland is a uh, sparks. Limiter removal. What the fuck is that? Boost attack defense of all machines by 600 points? All on the field? Okay. That's really fucking good. What the hell? See, that's not even something you just put onto one card. That's like, oh yeah, if you summon all of your fucking machines and then you use that, all of them are plus 600. Wow. And then there's the individual buff. So you can, like, imagine combining that. Nerf from the real game, it doubles them. And D rank, yeah. But at least they made it so that you don't D rank past um, the first rank. So, like, if you get your card to become a um, the deck leader, you can't lose the ability to do that. That's like the only exception. That air trap. That's pretty good. Nice. This actually is a pretty good deck compared to what I'm used to. I'm glad this showed up in the algorithm for when I typed my name in, because I did not want to do name manipulation. This theme owns. Yeah, the final rank is Secretary of Defense. And in order to, like... The best way to level up your cards, from what I learned, is, um... Unfortunately, I can't do this because you need a new, you need a completed safe alpha for this, and I I did not know that until I was done with my research, and I was like, fuck. Okay, I guess I'll just do whatever. But the best way to level up your ship is to use the custom dual feature where you can customize the terrain, and you make a terrain where the enemy's deck leader is surrounded in fucking labyrinth cards, so they can't do shit, and then you just like flip up five of the same card via fusion or whatever, and then you just pass 99 times, and they get um. 4 EXP per turn times 5 per turn, so they get 20 EXP per turn for one card. And that's how you level up and get deck leader abilities in a reasonable amount of time, which... Speaking of deck leader abilities, I never talked about them. Every type, every monster type has an ability that they can get as a deck leader. Um, some are better than others. Uh, machines, dragons, and winged beasts can get one called movement. That lets them move two tiles instead of one, which is insane, and that's the one I wanted. But I don't know if they'll be able to get it in a reasonable amount of time without uh, that custom terrain shit. So, um, we'll see about that. Probably won't be getting that because, you know, shit's insane. Only trying to farm double space, move deck leaders, learn too late. Learn that not all cards got it way too late, damn. That's fucked. Yeah, it's a re- it, it's the, there's a- there's a mod for this game, uh, called Redux that, like, adds a bunch of new shit and changes AI behavior and, like, overhauls everything makes it harder, and also makes it so that all cards gain five times EXP, so they actually get their, their rank ups in a reasonable amount of time. It's called Redux. I didn't want to play that because that also makes it, it makes this game harder. And I, like, I already don't know shit about this game, so... Even though it's the only Yu-Gi-Oh! game I've ever played. Alright, uh, Rex. Let's go. I have terrain advantage here. So does he. I think. Yeah, I was watching a bunch of Clovis vids just to understand this game a bit more. Yo, lad fly! The 12 months. Thank you very much. That's a whole year right there. I really should, uh... Oh yeah, this is the theme, by the way. This is good shit. I need to get my fusions down. Transforms occupied space in the wasteland when engaged in battle. Damn, so you just get, like, plus 500 when you get into a battle. Like, for free. What the hell? Although this card fucking sucks. Look at it's like 1200 attack with terrain bonus. So, you know. Let me get that fusion list open just so I can kind of look at it. Oh god, that's so much. Let's just get rid of some fodder here. 
Here, let me control F machine so I can kind of... See if I might have anything in my hand. I don't want to do this every time. I fucking, yeah, whatever. I ain't got time for that. Yeah, I know it's a game fact thread. Didn't you use this for the start of a few streams? I definitely used this in, um... A video before, but not in the, at the Star Wars stream. No, I used the custom dual theme. Let's just get these shitters out of here first. Watch this fuse something. Okay, good. This card kind of fucking sucks, though. To send forward, I might kill it. I don't want to send this forward. Let me just... How do I pass? Oh yeah, let me turn that to abbreviate real fucking quick. Oh yeah, start. For some reason I thought that was... R1. Uh, this guy's fucking gaming already. Here he already probably some fucking top-loaded. From the top decked. Um, let me just run this fucker over. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, right? The Royal Guard and Machine Conversion Factor. I don't have any fucking summoning points, though. Oops. Okay, next turn I'm popping... Which one is this? Okay, next one I'm popping... Royal Guard and that, and then we're gonna be juicing. Don't press select. Is that... That's the option for, um... Uh... Not retreating. Giving up, but there's a confirmation prompt on that, it's fine. Gaming. Yeah, surrender. I feel like that's a trap or something really shitty. That might be a trap, but I'm going for it anyways. We're just warming up here. Just warming up. This is a button check. That guy's fucking schmoovin' though. I should get a defensive card behind me. Yeah, I'll just put this guy in defense so that he can't fuck with me. Let's see it. Okay. Maybe there's a fucking trap that... There's some weird fucking card. Alright, now he's fucking desperate. I've seen this behavior before. Huh? Oh, this guy's getting fucking owned. Oh, wait. I thought by default these were turned on. I just turned these on. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna watch this. Trap card was the ground. Alright, so this game has fucking animations for these card battles, usually you turn them off, but you know, I turned it on by accident. Yeah, this is gonna be fucking GG. This deck is insane here. Is this a speedrun? Oh, absolutely not. This is a casual playthrough. I haven't played this game in like seven years. Don't turn them off, they look so cool. I think what I was gonna do is I was gonna turn those on right before killing whoever I was, um... Like, if it's gonna be the fu- if it's gonna be the finishing blow, I'll turn it on. But, otherwise, I'll turn them off. How do I open up that menu again so I can turn them off? What button is it? I don't wanna fucking accidentally pass or some weird shit. Select? No, it's not select. Fuck off. It's not that button either. It is L1. Every beat. What is this? Limit. <laughs> okay. Let's just, um. Solidify our victory here. He's fucking running. He can do this for a, a long time, actually, if I only have one card trying to fight.
And I don't- I don't do any damage to him. What the hell? Why is it not- Fuck off. Did I just turn that off? Oh, you have to press confirm. Fucking idiot. I did that twice. See, it sucks that I don't have a card attacking him from the rear right now, because I could literally just, like, pin him in the corner, but he's just gonna run away forever until I catch up to him. I don't know how long that's gonna take, actually, until he drops, like, a card that fucking spell binds me, or whatever. Some perverted shit might happen. Let's send some back up over here. These cards aren't all too good, though. I don't think any of these are... Oh, there's a machine. Oh, gaming, gaming! I didn't know that. I did not know that that was gonna happen. All right. Write that one down. Rock plus female equals mystical sand. <laughs> yeah, plus female. That's a lot of cards, actually. He's gonna hit me with the fucking. He's hitting me with sparks, that's the card that he put down to defend himself, it's over. He's hitting me with fucking sparks. Eat my ass. Bitch. No. God. Sparks? No. Alright, what is this? Fucking house of adhesive tape or some weirdo shit. Uh, what's it gonna be? Go and look at what you fuse up in the graveyard. Oh yeah. Is these two right? Yeah, this is an order, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's wasteland like that even fucking matters right now. If I get job change mirror, I can just make summon skulls for free with all these fucking fiend cards that I have in this deck. But I think getting job change mirror in this game is no easy feat. I would imagine so, because that card's insane in every fucking game. Dinosaur plus machine? Alright, bet. I don't think one of them was strong enough. Wait, there's a- oops, wrong card. There's a fiend. I'm a fucking idiot. My bad. There's- oh, oh no. Yeah, he's blind, don't worry, he's blind. He looked like a oh, whatever. He looked like a dinosaur. Button check. What the fuck is this guy doing? I killed my dude. But I think- card that I have next might be able to kill him? Hold on, let's see what's going on down here. Oh. I would only lose 100 LP if I took this fight. So. But I, I would win if he attacks me. I'll win if he attacks me. Because of the way attacking defenders works. Let's see what this is. Another one of these bitch-ass dinosaurs, huh? Moans. Yeah, I'm not even gonna summon here. Here's what we're gonna do, right? We're going to, uh... He's just on the run. Attack me so you can fucking lose. Check this shit out. We're gonna watch these for the finishing blow, and I'm 100% certain this is gonna be the finishing blow here.
Or not? There we go. There it is. Oh, no. I thought... Oh. I thought he had 50 LP left for some weird reason. Did he heal? Or did I just do the numbers wrong? No, he had, fi he had 500, not 50. Fucking idiot. I think you have sparks. Oh. Okay. Alright, what's this? Damn, this card almost competed. There's no match. The Royal Guard. He's just gonna keep running until I fuck him up. So let's, um... If that were a machine that could, like, move, that'd be cool. What I should have done, I should have had a card just sitting back here so that when he eventually ran around, I could just, like, pince him. I'll have to remember to do that. In fact, here's what we're gonna do. Let's we'll start working on that now, because it might be a while until we, uh... Got two of these things. Any effects on him? Nope. Let's just do this. Yeah, right now he's just fucking sending the strongest cards he can send out in this scenario. To defend himself, because he knows he's fucked. I'm gonna accelerate that process. That isn't even a real card, nice. So he didn't in that in that case he didn't have anything, right? Is that what that means when I just fucking run out over, he didn't have anything better somehow. Okay, effect. What is this? All this card is in face up on the defense position, the strength of all your machine what? Face up defense, all my machines are buffed? Even harder. Okay, uh bet. Wow, okay, well. A good starter deck. I was not expecting this. I thought we were gonna have some dog shit that I was gonna have to work around by gaming really hard. Okay. This is insane. Oh, he's fucking running. He knows he ain't got shit. Also, yeah, this is. Unless this is like some perverted trap card, this is it, so I'm gonna. Oh, I already said. Alright, here we go. Yeah, GG. Oh, man, I, I said the wrong thing. Okay, button check. We got him. There's no battle animations against deck leaders? Oh, really? That sucks. Okay. Alright. Um, I was talking about slot rares and graveyard shit earlier. Um... The way you get cards in this game, instead of it being RNG based on, like, a ranking, like in Forbidden Memories, all the cards that were sent to the graveyard show up in this. What should I go for? I don't, I don't recognize any of these fucking cards. A trap card? I don't, I don't know what it looks like, I'm just gonna, sh like, go blind here. They're all low dino, yeah. Yeah, bonus lines is a rank up too. Yeah, I mean, like, that's like one deck leader that you have to rank up it's pretty high so that you can get diagonals as well for slot rares. It's so fucking niche. If you don't care about any of the cards, you can try for a three in a row reward. Yeah, but that's like, there are only like seven of those, right? Otherwise, a white dragon, really? God. Are there any slot rares in this spread? Who know? Probably not. Fuck okay. it. I got another little D. I got Bear Trap. I got Bear Trap. I already have one of those. But that, does that mean I get two Bear Traps? No. Gaming? Alright, well, easy clap, first duel.
No slot verse? Okay. Darkness roller. Necromancer. Now this little shit. I think Keith is up here, so we're gonna we're gonna do these duels up here. Trying to kill opponents too fast because the slots don't have enough cards. They just use fake trap. Oh, okay. I don't think any of those cards were. Decent, but I feel like more... Wasn't... Somebody was trying to tell me to do a fusion with dinosaurs and machines. Maybe if I had more dinosaurs, I'd be able to do whatever the fuck that fusion is here. Let me look through my guide to see what the deal was with that. Cybersaurus, 1800, 1400? Looks decent. Is that the only one? That looks, that looks all right. I guess that's good, especially with other buffs that I might be able to put on it. Better than little D, I guess. Let's take some shitty card out of here. That is indeed a zombie warrior. That's like a skeleton. That, that's not a zombie. Zombies aren't skeletons. Everybody knows that. Got a lot of fiends in here. That's like my only dinosaur in the deck. Hey, get this insect out of here. Alright, two bear traps. Any, any use for having fucking the fire dude from Fairy Tail in my deck? Do I have this guy here? This guy looks like shit. Play some lower DC cards in the deck. Oh yeah, deck cost. It, it's not that high yet. I don't have to worry about that yet, I think. This is also 23 fucking DC for whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, I don't think I have any fusions with Pyro, so let me look. Turtle, Aqua, Flame Swordsman, Beast. Do you have any Beast cards? I could use the... instead of Newcomer Sword, I could sort by type. That should be the default. I have one, I have two, two real beasts. Vermilion Sparrow. No, uh, Flame Service, 2100. That's pretty good. Warrior plus Pyro. Okay. I'll just leave them in then, because I have plenty of warriors. Got a number of them, actually. Hopefully I actually remember these fucking fusions. But I've, I've definitely gotten through this game without memorizing them and kind of getting lucky when I'm dumping cards. Fusion is cool, so this is a good opportunity to memorize them. God, these buffs are insane. Is Sparks worth it? Probably not, but I mean, that's free damage. It's only 50, though. Yeah, fuck it. I've got bigger ambitions. Little D. Alright. The joke card. Yeah, we need that we need that two DC. Yeah, that's essential right now. And I guess if I wanted more of that guy's cards, I could literally just farm him. Look at my look at my deck leader turning to face the menu option. I didn't know he did that. Look at that. He looks at my cursor, and he also looks at my cursor down here. What the fuck? Fucking weirdo. 
Alright, um, let's go unlock Keith by fighting this weirdo. I don't know how this is gonna go because this is all grass terrain or whatever. But I have that wasteland card. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm playing a very pog game. Pog? Poggers? This is a game I've wanted to play for a while on this channel. And the playthrough is going better than I thought it would initially. Okay, I think a good strategy is to bum rush this guy. But he's gonna summon that plant bitch and like hit me with 2400 attack if I'm not ready. Oh, whoever he sends at me is going to get bear trapped. I have all the cards in the game with no cheats. That- God, how long must that take? That must be insane. Oh my god. Get on. Get bear trapped. We got two of them. Easy. I don't want to get too close to him though. He really tried to fight me within like one turn. <laughs> I moved up. Hmm. Not the best hand. You're screwed if you use a Shia LaBeouf. Damn, I didn't know that. Uh, he was a card. This card card must go hard. Is that a pincher? See, right now I'm just worried about getting, like, one decent... Oh, okay, let's... Let's, um, clear my hand a little bit. And set a defensive card. This guy's got 2k. Just put him in defense and chill. What happens if you lose? Oh, nothing happens. You, you lose a bit of EXP. That doesn't matter. Um, nothing bad happens if you lose. You just fucking lose time that you spent. Yeah, there's a ratio, but that's like, you get ratioed, but no, you don't lose a red rose, there's, there's no crazy punishment, it's just you try again, if you lose a British win, true, that is a consequence. I don't think I have anything. Pyro has a terrain bonus? Okay. We have something to work with now, perhaps. Let's just, um, clear some shit. Flame service gets a boost in force. Damn, I should have waited on that. I didn't know Pyro Pyros did that. Okay. I'll have to write that one down mentally. Beast plus Pyro. Didn't I have a beast in my hand just now? Hold up. Man, fuck. Okay. I'll have to write that one down. Can you fuse on the field? Or do they just run each other over? Yes. Yes to what? You can fuse on the field? Okay, finally, a, a, a helpful answer. You just lay it on top? Okay, based. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes. Two questions in one sentence, yes. Okay. Uh. Somebody was wrong. Write that one down, too. And it was not me. I think... Okay, was I supposed to have one run over the other? Beast and Pyro. Maybe the... Maybe... Hold on, let me... It had to be... It, it had to be stronger. It had to be stronger. The guide here says Beast 1200 plus. And this says 1350 because of terrain bonus, but... Um, it was in a valid combo. You were right. Okay, write that one down. Alright, this guy's making a fucking move on me. And I think this is some kind of trap over here. Maybe. Let's get some distance. We gotta recuperate. This guy sucks, I'm gonna pull him back. I, I didn't have any ambitions for that pyro either, so don't worry. Just 
Look at this fucking card. Um, let's set some more traps. And clear some more cards. Fuck this guy. Beans are gonna, like, suck here. That's bat. Okay, some weirdo shit that I don't care about. Okay. Clear my hand a little bit. Alert. In fact, hold on. Got this guy too. Okay, so one of the reasons why I'm not on um, playing this on emulator PCSX2 is every time you get into a battle and like the cards flip up, that fucked up like close up animation is what plays. It like looks really fucking weird. So that's why I'm not on PCSX2. So that's, wh that's why I'm on a PS3. Because there are so many emulator visual bugs for that, I figured I might as well go all out. You might have Rose Spectre have done already. At this point, I am gonna bet on it. Oh. I'm getting all the worst cards right now in my hand to show up. Alright, more defense. I'm gonna play super passive. Yeah, PCSX2 has a lot of unsolved issues with this game because PCSX2 is shit. Uh oh. The second worst card in his deck. For fucking me up. If only my trap card was there. Actually, no, the trap card would have gotten owned here. I like it owned. I didn't get my wasteland card, and now he's. Up my ass. Two little D's, come on, man. Fuck. Alright, this is a desperate play. I'm dumping my hand. If I'm gonna do that, I might as well lead with the good thing. Good card at the end. Oh, there's a fusion. Goodbye. Oh! What? Okay. Huh? Okay. It's still not enough for this, though. Unless I get Wasteland, but that would save me for defending. BCS62 wiki shows no issues for Doter. Maybe you should add it then, because there are plenty of issues. Like, text gets all fucked up when you upscale the game, and the card animation doesn't look right when you attack, which is like, happens all the time. I don't understand why streamers don't run this that much, but they play Forbidden Memories. Forbidden Memories has a crazy hold on people, and it's also more speedrunnable, which is insane to say because of how RNG dependent that game is. But this game is very abusable, and the speedrun's like 30 minutes and whatnot. Passwords don't require star chips. God, this is the, just the shittiest hands I could have gotten. All the shit is like bottom loaded in this deck. And machine dragons, hold on. Metal dragon. Okay, hold up. Oh, it's the same one. Good thing the fucking insects went to the left instead of to the right and just like rolled over a trap card and didn't get anything done. Can't Sabric Mana booster attacks? It has some kind of passive. Oh yeah, that was the one that, um. Oh shit, was that that card? Oh boy. Am I just thrown? That's the plus 300 card, right? Okay, I should have kept him alive. Oh boy. Alright, uh, we need... We need a stimmy. All my strongest soldiers are getting killed. Oh! Okay. That's... 
That's positive. But I'm fucking spellbound. These bitch ass spellbind effects on some of these cards. It could be like up to three turns, I think. Stimulus package. One turn? Okay, that's not too bad. But, oh god, I'm gonna take damage for free here. I can't do shit about this. Oh, um, I might be able to actually. It would be very dumb for him to attack Metal Dragon instead of my deck leader, though. But I have no summoning points. I can't even summon the Royal Guard. Goddamn. This is unlucky. I don't know if there's anything they can do here. It's probably better to reset here at this point. Perhaps. But we'll see how far... We'll see where this goes. Just stall. Yeah, Forbidden Memory Star Signs. That, that's a crazy system that that game has. Yeah. Chased. That's damage. Yeah, Keith has a fucking British do-rag instead of an American one. Goofy ass. What is it? The fuck? That's 1,000? Okay, we have to get that. We have to get that if we get the graveyard. We have to get that. That's so good. What the hell? That's 1,000 right there. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking this one's a lost cause. Yeah. That got too out of hand too quickly. Yeah, this game is called Forbidden Memories, too, in Japan. I think. Yeah, like Shin Duel Monsters, too. Or whatever. Alright. We go again. Did you have a chance for a Destiny draw? I don't know what the fucking Destiny draw is. I've heard of it, but I don't know what the hell it is or how to do it. I also don't know how to do reincarnate. This card is a decent defense. You take 2,000 damage in one turn. How can that be good for me, though? What's the rundown on that? Right, there's... That's a cyber steam. This is... If it gets into a fight, it transforms into a wasteland. That seems very niche and not helpful for me. Let me just charge up some points. This is some weirdo card. They give you Regeki. Your deck will pull a card out of his ass and try to turn around to get Regeki. Master, that's crazy. Giant flea. Okay. Two thousand man. Oh. Okay. Uh, I can. What's the dinosaur machine again? It wouldn't be good enough here. I can... If it, if it attacks us in defense, I'd be good. Put this guy in defense. Hate him in. Cyberstein's good bait. Here we go, here we go, let's go. We take these. Oh, it doesn't kill him. I forgot about that. Oh, okay. It just takes damage. Well, if I can buff him, then... I can't even do shit right now. Uh... Okay, imagine I... Imagine I move this guy, right? Summon Cyberstein, he attacks Cyberstein, turns into Waste, and then I beat his ass. Let's try it. 
kind of coping right now, but... That's the play. We gotta get this fucking giant flea out of my ass. Just top deck a 2,000 LP. Or LP. 2,000 attack. Now it's 1,500. I'm gonna have a bonus here. That's a dub. Easy. That's damage. That's damage right there. Okay. 900. Hell yeah, dude. Strats. Oh yeah, now nobody can fuck with this guy. That's... 2400 attack. The only thing I can fuck with him is the Hercules bug or whatever, and it'll... It'll even out. I'm just gonna leave him there. He's just gonna stay there. Ooh, maybe I could put Megatron there in defense, perhaps. Nobody... I don't think they're gonna fuck with him if he's just standing there, but if they try to fuck with the defensive card, they'll get owned. Okay, here's the play, right? I can't move him yet, but I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put Royal Guard right there in guard form. He's gonna have, like, 2,500 defense, and everybody's gonna get owned trying to kill him. I'll do that next turn, though. Can't you deal yourself in the main menu for more of your own cards? Can you? I'm interested in that process. You take a bunch of damage in one turn, you're way behind in life. You'll get slotted to six different destiny drop holes, and you'll get a board wiping dark hole or a monster with a huge attack like Arsenal. But hmm, custom duel. Okay, you guys will have to walk me through that later. I'm interested. I like more cards. As long as there is no memory card in slot two. Can I control that on PS3? You can't win cards from that. Okay. Let me... I want to make space while doing this. Oh, this would be even better, actually. Hold up. I think I can unload a memory card on PS3. Oh my god. Cool. Why would he attack me? Okay, this guy will get some damage. That's a... Okay, that's a problem. But look at how ahead I am right now. In fact, I might be able to win next turn. I can win. Hold on. Even without terrain, I think I can win here, right? No, it's close, but... It's close. It's close. But it's not gonna win for free here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move out. You can win with your own cards? You can win your own cards. Okay, I'll have to look into that, because that sounds fun. I imagine one of these cards can flip up and move two spaces and eat my ass if I do this play. But that's damage right there. But I, I'm chipping the shit out of this guy. Six fifty. Okay, we can. This is winnable. This guy might get fucked up. We might take some big damage here, but that's. I mean, that's a lot of attack, so it probably wouldn't be too bad. All right, here's what we're gonna do. He might kill himself trying to attack this guy, trying to get to me. Here we go. Send it. He's smart. He's taking LP off me first, and then he'll attack. He'll attack me next, and then we'll win. I think. Let's just do that. Look, at I, this entire duel, I have not gotten a single- both duels. I have not gotten a single one of my power-ups. This whole time. Because I'm certain that this will do it. Try me. this asshole's formation, all for nothing. What a defensive win.
fucking block that shit. And clap back. Easy. It's a Weevil W. So cool. This game owns. This game fucking owns. Alright, unfortunately we didn't get the fucking goblin thing. Oh yeah, those are all the those are all the fake cards. Not a lot in the graveyard, huh? I don't get anything for that, right? That's because there weren't enough cards for the fucking slots. Should I get like one of them? Let's get that flea. It's just a really bad card? Okay, I'll try and avoid it. Fuck. That was so delayed. Okay. That's the shitty one. There weren't any good cards anyways. Yeah, okay, whatever. All the cards that he fought me with were dog shit that time. I won without any power-ups, dude. The, the thing that won for me was that goddamn terrain effect. I didn't think it'd be that good. That's gaming. Reincarnate in deck menu? Okay. Where is that? I'm doing way better than I thought I'd be. Finish five duels to reincarnate? Okay. It's okay, we're all learning. Even the so-called experts in this game are still learning. It won't take me very long. I can I think Keith is also this is a robot versus robot. Yeah, look at this look at the guy's yeah, he's fucking British. Yeah, educational stream. Do you need to win five duels or finish five? Because I'm already at three. Oh, I bet I could just surrender. I bet I could just surrender to fucking get five done and re and then do whatever this reincarnate shit is. Finish, not win. So I can just surrender. You can farm losses. Okay, let's do that real quick. Hold up. There's no, there's really no downside for that. Other than the fucking exp that doesn't matter because I'm definitely not going to be able to get it high enough to. You know, take advantage of. Yeah, let's do that. With the weevils, dumbass. I I want to see what this is all about. I want to get good shit. Can you get Ray Geki with that then? What cards can I get? What am I looking for? What what am I gonna get out of this? I should ask. Forehand. You can get most cards. He gives you cards for about the same cost as you dumped. You can get three cards relative to the value of that card. I'll get Regeki. Is it possible? Give a good card, get some good cards, okay. Yeah, the fucking three Thunder Nian Nians for goddamn... I think Regeki is exclusive to doing Seto route. Either that, or you get the starter deck that has that, and then, like, you duel yourself? I think I was reading some wiki or whatever. Oops. Oh yeah, and I save slot 2 has to be empty, right? Or, like, not loaded with anything. Looks like I only have one. Nothing is in slot 2, I believe. 
Don't give up anything you can't deal with not having. Yeah, I'll just probably give up some bitch-ass dinosaurs or whatever. How do I get to the mainest menu? I got two rose cards already. And I'm poised to get a third. Start. Select. Yeah, select, okay. I like early PS2 games visually. Isn't this supposed to be an option in here? I feel like I remember this being an option and custom duel? Okay. Bet. I thought I remember reincarnate being a big button. Deckmaster K. Is that me? Different opponents in custom duel whether you have a second memory card or not. But if I have Duel Master K, then that's myself. Do we just fight him? Dead fuck with this? Anything to make this faster, perhaps? Build deck for reincarnation, okay. Walk me through this, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Boosting the summon to 12, yeah, that would make it faster, right? Just so, like, the points re -come, come back really quick. Reincarnate appears in the deck edit screen on the main menu. It's also not a button you can click. You hover or guard, press L3. Oh! DC of 19. Let's see what happens to Fake Trap. Oh, what is happening to that? What the hell is this feature? What the fuck is happening? Wasted? Is it like I can only do it once? What is this? I didn't know. I, I can just load back. I've got to save. Once every f okay, once every five duels. Okay, well, I can just reboot. I saved before doing that. I did not know about this. Ever. Okay, so I should reincarnate my best fucking guard in terms of deck cost or whatever. This is wild. Best card you can level without. Okay. Going to the main menu is faster than reloading a file. I didn't even realize that going to the main menu was separate. Is like I didn't realize that that was part of the like that was different than just fucking being on your save file. So going to the main menu would fucking like if you didn't save you'd fuck yourself up by going here. Okay, I didn't know that. So you can only do this in custom duel, huh? Okay, so I reincarnate, then do I get the cards or do I have to duel? Deckmaster K or whatever the fuck. Let me sort by DC. This is the low end. You get the cards. People... You can reincarnate in the main deck screen. People just unrelatedly point you to Deckmaster K. Oh, okay. So there's two different things. K is to farm your own deck while reincarnate is in the deck menu after five duels. Okay. So we just, we're just doing two things at the same time, huh? I get you. This guy's good, I'm not gonna sacrifice him. Those Royal Guard. A lot of my best cards are... Okay, yeah, I can I can part with her. It's only 31. These cards are good. I've never had so many cards be much stronger defensively than offensively. Oh, but aren't there good fusions for female cards and whatnot?
I mean, let me find that fusion. Save the females. Beast female, Neko Gal number two. Damn, two of them. Beast warrior female. 1900, 2000, that's not too bad. Fairy female, dark witch. Mystical sand. But it has to be female, four star. This is five star, right? Summoning level. It's only 2100 and 1700. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good for neutral stats. What else do we got here? Dork, Fire, Dragon. And this one's pretty shit. This is definitely like the first card in this list that's like, oh yeah, that's like not necessary. What terrain boost does Mystical Sand... Is it Wasteland? I would imagine. Yeah, this game is very obtuse. Both this and Forbidden Memories are fucking ob obtuse and perverted. Let's sacrifice this. Let's, let's start simple. Okay. I, I'm not getting the option. I'm clicking my shit. L3? Oh, is this supposed to- it's in my- okay, yeah, oops. I thought it- I was in the- it has to be in the chest. Gotta take it out of the deck, okay. Oh yeah, there you go. Ask for it. Oh. Did it consume my reincarnate? I'm pressing L3. Didn't save. Need 40 in the- oh god. So many fucking perverted features. Okay. Can't do shit in Detroit. There we go. Wait, hold up. I'm holding up. Do not save after starting. No, I um... I did. Yeah, we're good. Dork Fire Dragon. Send it. One who hunts souls. This is so weird. Three headed Greedo. Guido? Guido? That first card looked like the dude with his cock out from One Piece. Morphine. Yeah, who the fuck are these? Is it a good one? What's going on here? Fiend. Fiend, fiend, and... One who hunts souls. Monsters destroyed in battles against one who hunts souls cannot be revived once they're sent to the grave. Okay, I know, like... You can retry if you want. I'll try that. I'll do that one more time, just because this is fast, especially... Because you can just back out. That's niche. Yeah, I know of a couple... I know of, like, one fucking card... ...where that's relevant. That's whatever. When are you gonna read One Piece? <laughs> that's so fucking... I don't, I've never read a manga. I've heard, like, Kingdom Heart. This is fast. I can just reset this. Maybe get, like, one good thing and then go back to the real game. So why would I want to farm myself against Deckmaster K? What's the what's the rundown on that? What what's the strat for doing that? Like why would I want to do that? You get three copies of your best cards equips. Ooh, okay. So like I'd get more wastelands and more of these. That's juice. Damn. Okay. But that how hard how hard it would it be to fight myself? What's what's a rundown on that? Oops. Dupont has to use them? Yeah, that seems 
like it would take some time. God, I got two of these guys. I'm gonna try sacrificing this for 41. I want I want to see results. Give me the juice. I can always just reset. This game is wild. Who's that? Oh, that's a lot of letters. What the fuck? Is that good? It looks good. Who? Is that like a spellcaster? Forest. It's a terrain card. Are these good? Terrain card sounds good. I think I have a lot of... Field spell? Yeah, field spell seems good. You don't get those very often. The cards in the face of defense position are effective. All power-up cards are... Whoa, okay. Another... Ooh, that... Ooh, okay. Mm. Ooh. That's okay. That's okay. If I if I just have this guy fucking in the back row, if I have this guy in the back row, I can get 700. If I get this guy, yeah, that's like 700 on a power up. Sheesh. That okay? Yeah, I'm I'm rolling with it. That seems really good. What about these other fucking dudes I got? Look at that fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Too bad I didn't get a. Too bad I didn't get mountain terrain instead of a. Uh... Okay, that's that's kind of juicy. That's a lot, big number. That's definitely better than what I put in for this. And forest. Okay, yeah, I'm rolling with it. Fuck it. Yeah, forest would be good if if not fucking to like boost my own cards, but to like mitigate like say tune for example. Toon terrain, a bitch ass Pegasus fight. Especially if I have two terrain cards. Terrain's really good in this game. If you get it, if you successfully get it into um, into enemy territory, you can get a lot done with one terrain card. Little D. Seems good. Reincarnate for forest for more terrains potentially. Is that like guaranteed or is it just like potentially? It seems like it's a potential thing. Well, I'm definitely gonna save that. That's good. That owned. God, this game has such weird fucking systems, and then dueling yourself and reincarnating. Reverted. Cool. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and abuse that all day long, and, like, surrender duels as fast as that might be. I would like to do some gaming, so let's continue. This is cool. Thank you guys for showing up to this stream and helping me out because I'm learning a lot. Alright, I'm gonna fight Keith next because I have good advantage here, but I also need to piss. I'll be right back. Make sure to follow if you haven't. Oh, I'm gonna be playing this game all week. Since it's going so smoothly, I definitely plan on finishing at least Red Rose, and then we'll see about White Rose. Depending on how juiced I am, I could probably demolish White Rose if I get good cards while I'm red. Be right back.
No. Sheesh. Inshallah, he is back. How come both of these Yu-Gi-Oh games, this and Forbidden Memories, are very grindy to get good shit? Like this game and its fucking deck leader abilities and Forbidden Memory with like every card? Weird. This game, oh dear. This game is pretty wild. The Ivan. All right. Keith. Machine deck versus machine deck. Here we go. I beat this guy. No, this isn't the Labyrinth guy, right? No, there are la there's Labyrinth in this fight, but not... He isn't a Labyrinth Master. There's a... There's a duelist in this game who's called the Labyrinth Master or whatever. He uses a bunch of Labyrinth cards, and I beat him once by using a card that flips up all of his cards, and it trapped his deck leader within a 4x4, four four, or like a... a 6x6 six six cube of Labyrinth cards, and that beats them instantly. If you do that. And it was fucking awesome. Okay, this is his home field advantage for both of us, so let's see how this goes. Okay, where there there's that. Um I'm gonna hold on to that, flip that up when it's when the time is right. Oh boy. Top decking already, huh? All right, I'm pulling back. Wasteland, <laughs> yeah, that'll be fucking useful here, huh? Whatever. It doesn't fuck with terrain. That no, no, not terrain. That doesn't fuck with labyrinth, doesn't it? I'm just gonna overwrite that. Right, can I do machine dragon here? Oh, here's Cyberstein. That um, doesn't help me either. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let's just uh. Yeah, the Labyrinth is special. You, got, you can't fuck with the Labyrinth. Alright, holy shit, this card is good here. Okay. Alright, if he tries to fuck with me, I might have something good. I don't know if he has anything better, especially with that power-up. He could have something crazy. 
Oh, what is what? A, oh, what is, what's this top decking? From? What's happening? How can I? Uh, yeah, machine, no, convert, machine conversion factor, the whole strat, the reason why it's down here is I'm waiting until all of my good machines are popped, and then I'll power them up by flipping this, and then all of them will get juiced. All according to plan, don't worry. Alright, this will be good. Let's get these shits out of the way. Thought that was a limiter removal? Oh shit, hold on. Oh, fuck. You're right. I- okay. I got that mixed up. Okay. Oh. I, I can still apply that. I just have to- I just have to run it over. And we'll be good. I got it mixed up. Button check. It's just a button check. I'm, I'm not used to having a card like that. I've never- I did not know cards like that existed in this game because I always did dragon deck at the start. But we're good. I think if I if I run if I use the dragon to run over the power up, it'll fuck it up. But if I use the power up to go over this, then we'll be good. Okay, I still have one more turn to set that up because this guy can flip up and keep my ass. Air trap, that might be good. Should work both ways. Um. Taking a report. Based. Juice. Okay, saved. Labyrinth is cool because you can like summon around it and have like cover. It's really neat in this game. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would be, I gotta say. I probably could have gotten a lot, like, big damage off of that if I had just let that rock, but... Yeah, that was actually a bad play, because I could have gotten a big, big LP damage there, but it's fine. Okay, there's limiter removal. That's what I've been waiting for. I'm gonna... I'm gonna summon that, and then I'm going to sit on it for a little bit, get some more machines ready... ...before going nuts. Maybe one or two more. But, I mean, I could have, like, one good card and it could get a lot done. I just don't want to get, like, hit by some weird effect card and fuck up my whole strat. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. I've still got time to set up. Although, I, I, I guess start worry, worrying about that right side attack he's doing. Alright, here we go. Oh, why is the limiter... Oh. I shouldn't have put the limiter removal here. Shit. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna accelerate this. Um... One offensive card, one defensive card. This should be all I need. What? You bitch. Okay, well... Never mind, that's fine. I'm juicy enough as is. Fucking scooped. Perverted trap card. Alright, you know what? Look at this, look at this 2850. 2500 defense, we're good. This card is for getting intel. So I can see what I'm coming up against with this guy over here. Perverted. Limiter removal will boost his stuff, too. Okay, well, it's a good thing that didn't, didn't go off. The hell did he just do to himself? What? What? Whoa, run that one back. What the fuck? Uh... What? Effect? He, uh, one card other than his own is randomly selected. What? But he shot his own card. One card other than own is... What? Randomly selected for destruction when flipped up, but he shot it. He shot himself. Oh, I thought own meant his own field. Okay, never mind. 
Okay, I thought, okay. Well, that's some perverted shit. Okay, that's a really powerful, despite the effect, that's a really powerful card. It would be really funny if I got that for myself and then shot myself with it. Uh, okay, that's a problem. At least I can nullify it in defense. Oh boy. Beast Pyro? Hold on. This is a weird fucking duel already. Um, let's send a diversion. That's not what I thought it would do. Okay, for some reason I thought that was a fusion. I'll kill that later. What's it gonna be, pussy? Yeah, square up. Why are the why are the animations still on? Get shit out of here. Nice, okay, well, we have a problem. I have a solution. Oh shit, it's this dude. Too bad he doesn't get terrain bonus here. Okay, 2500. That's not nearly enough to deal with this. This is a fucking monster right here, okay? And I don't know if I can slow this guy down. Actually, see, now that this guy's flipped up, though, he knows that... Ooh, I could have... Hmm. I feel like... I think if I put this guy here in defense, he's not gonna... He's not gonna... Push forward. And my deck leader will be safe. I'm gonna roll with that. I'm gonna work on something. Let me clear my deck here. Oh boy. It's shitty anyways, we're good. I don't have I don't think I have any spellbind cards to wait, well, how does spellbinding work, actually? Is that an interaction between two different types? Elements? It's based on element. I never knew that. What is he? I don't know what that is. Okay, it, based on the power-up card list, I'm assuming that that is dark. Dark, light, water, fire, earth, wind, dark. So I would use wind? Okay, so this is like the signs in FM. I don't think I have any... Okay, that's interesting. But I think I'll be safe if I just put him here in defense. He won't push. Well, he'll push around and it'll give me time to pull something out of my ass. I never knew that. I just thought spellbinds just kind of fucking happened based on the card. Oh, I don't have enough turns to move. Oh no, this is a problem actually. I don't have an, I, yeah, I need two turns to set up what I want to do. I can't move him over and then put him in defense. That's not how it works in this game. Fuck. Okay, we have a massive problem. He's gonna wipe out my best card. I think we're fucked. I can move the master, it's just now this guy's gonna be dead. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is the first thing he fucking summoned, too. Man. Cause like, I can't... I can't move him in defense and then, yeah. It's forced in the deck, uh... Nope. That's my luck. Effect. The effect of all power, yeah. 
It's too late for this guy. His wind. I can, okay, I can buy time with that new strap. But I can't... I'm gonna take a lot of damage if I... Oh, Metal Dragon is wind. Okay, hold up. Move up with the wind monster in defense. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Metal Dragon is wind, but I'd, I would take a bigger loss if I attacked him now. It's a bit counterproductive to move up so I can move back. I think it's only like one turn of Spellbind, right? Yeah, one. So I don't even know if that really helps considering I had to move up for that. Maybe one turn was the difference though. Back to where I started, more or less. Deck count. Yeah, I mean, we're getting there. I'm about to start getting the good shit in my deck, like... Forest. I could pop here and then lower his insane fucking... But I don't think I have any cards that scale off of Forest. I think this might be a lost cause, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna let it rock. Let's see what we can do. And in fact... I'm just gonna go all up. I have not really scraped at his formation yet. Yeah, you can you can rock with an empty deck until you get owned. That much I remember. I'll be able to put this in defense. See what you got. Oh boy. Oh fucking shit. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking run in a minute here. See what I can do with this little shit. Yeah, we're kinda mirrored right now in the mirror match. Yo, he's backing out. Smart. Oh, but he's gonna kill my- okay. That gives me time, but I'm gonna get owned here for free and I'm gonna lose some LP, and I can't hit him. Okay, so that aggression was good because it got him off of my, my fucking back. Okay. Write that one down. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. This will allow us to summon into the labyrinth while having cover from all sides. Nice. Alright, let's see what we can pull out of our ass. It's a little bit too late for this. I already popped the power-up card, so this guy's useless to me. If only I top-decked him or whatever. Had him come out early. Any fusions in my hand right now, perhaps? I think the AI can, like, start with shit. Like, I know for a fact that Seto's duel, he will always start with a blue eyes. Even though his fucking deck leader is also blue eyes. He'll always start with blue eye. Dinosaur warrior? Not a lot of warrior fusions in here, it seems. Zombie warrior? That's the fucking card I have. Oh, this is the female card. Okay, that's different. That's different. Gonna make the sand, dude. Man, this theme is so fucking good. Is any guy in the background? Yes. Oh, it's right here. That's juice. Kinda. Not good enough, though. Look at this wall I'm going up against. Sand dude. Oh! That's not what I thought this card was. Holy schmoly. Ooga wooga. How much is terrain boost? Isn't it like... 500? 
in both attack and defense? It's a lot. It's a considerable quantity. And plus, yeah, plus one movement, but it has to be flipped up, which is a liability in and of itself. Like this, which might save for later. Terrain is massive in, th in this game, especially because you know it's it's like it's the way it is. Hey, game! Oh, that's a buff to me and him, though. Oh boy. And the only machine that benefited from from that was fucking. Space Megatron. Oh, that's almost enough defense. Man, this is, this is awful. Son if I didn't give him He's got such a big formation here, and I lost all my good shit. It might be over for us here, but we'll, I'll keep going. This is rough. Almost at 4k, dude. Alright, I'm just clearing my shit. Check this shit out. I might get like two fusions in here. I'm gonna kill immediately. Oh man, that was a good one. That's better than what I have right here. Fuck it, you know what? I'm going all out, let's accelerate. My downfall. I'm gonna force his hand. Two machines face down, yeah, it's over. Oh man, he knew. I don't want to surrender. Something crazy could happen, and almost always does. Oh, he's out the fucking... I thought this would be... a decent duel. Let's just poke them at his sides and see what we can get away with. And there's forest, or whatever it's worth at this point. Oh, there's another fusion that was decent, but it is now gone. You know what? God. I mean, okay, this is a last ditch maneuver to lower the damage. That forest card there. Are there like camera options? Ooh. Well, I don't like that. Forced out of spite. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, they'll lower their movement, I guess. I'll do that in a second here, because they're going to move on me. Perhaps it's already too late. This is rough. Fuck okay. it. Eat my ass. Uh, this is a 300 bonus points, man. This would have been great right away. Instead, it's literally at the bottom of my deck. This is my last five cards. What can I? Let's see what it can do. What did it need to be? Base up defense, huh? Weird. I don't even think I have any machines left, so what was the point of that? Yeah. Except for this dude. I'm going in. Oh. Jeez. Oh my god! Dude. That means you have five left, though. When a parent tells you no, you gotta respect that, but Drake just does whatever you... Who is this guy? Oh, he's retreating. What the fuck? Uh, who is 
this guy? Invisible wire is insane. That'd be great to get. Oh. oh, Royal Guard. Royal Guard. Royal Guard. Oh, too bad he's gonna get clapped, though. Oh, man, if, if, I shouldn't have moved there. I could have... Mm. Oh, I can... I can defend here. I, I take this dub, actually. I get these guys off my fucking back in a second here. I'm, I'm sending that. I don't care what that is. This guy's a fucking menace, though. Alright, well, I've got an extra lease on life here, but that's not gonna amount to much, perhaps. He has 22 more cards left. Oh, fucking launcher spider, man. That's not okay. right. What is with these cards? How does he have all these? They're so buffed. This is it dub though? Pendulum machine. This is yeah. This is GG. I think. Look at what's happening to me. Hold up. You know what? Out of spite. Yeah, he takes that. I shouldn't have done that, actually. But he would have known. He wouldn't have attacked me. Fucking pendulum dude here. I was looking to help me at this point. Twenty eight hundred? Nah. This guy's gonna eat my ass. I'm thinking I'm surrendering here. Let's see where this goes. left in my fucking bitch ass deck. Nothing. There's, there are three more cards left. Let's just see what they are. What is this usually? That's not too bad. I just want to see what is in my deck at the very, very bottom, and then I'm retreating, or surrendering. I think this is a fight where I have to, like, jump on him really early. Because he just has this crazy formation he can get away with. Alright, what, what is left? There's bear trap for whatever it's worth. Yeah, fuck this. Deck slot machine or barrel dragon. He definitely pulled out barrel dragon somewhat early. Game was ahead of its time. If it was made now, people would love it. Yeah. It's also got a lot of fucking flaws, though, that's for sure. The deck leveling system, the, yeah, the card leveling system for deck, um, deck leaders is like insanely obtuse and takes forever. Like, say I get my robotic knight leveled up enough, which is like. 30 duels of having the card face up and nothing else happening, just passing for 99 turns, then I would be able to get that card's ability. Alright, we go again. This time I'm going to be very aggressive.
yeah, three of them up face up at the same time. That that multiplies it. But you can still do it with just one. Beast, machine, rock. Hmm. That's just uh the shitty start. Let me see if there are any fusions in here. Sort through this real quick. Maybe I've got something. I just don't want to have an option and then not know it's there and then not take advantage of it. This fusion system does because it doesn't fucking tell you the results. You gotta be good as fuck or memorize the shit. Or at least memorize the good ones. You don't need to memorize all of them. Once I get the good ones memorized, it'll be alright. I don't think there are any good ones here. I'll just clear my deck. Oh, there's one. Yeah, it's possible to go through the entire game without getting a single card level up, like, unironically. That's what I did. Also, cards lose experience if you do that. Also, I think, now that I'm, like, playing this game on PS3, on the PS3's emulator, I think this, I think it has the same graphical error as the one on PCSX2, now that I look at it. The way that the camera angle is doing that. When certain cards interact. It does? God, they fucking do that. I could be on PCS 2 right now. Oh well. At least this is authentic. A bit less bad on PS3. Yeah, I definitely didn't notice it at first. It's crazy. How come that shit even happen? Oh, there's forest. That's good and bad. I don't know if I want to pop that. And pretty results again, but I'm going to be aggressive with this one. That's not too bad. I have that card. I literally have it. Nothing happens. The card's just still alive. You can't do anything. Oh, it's equal. Okay, that's a stalemate. Thank God. That's a wall right there. He's gonna have to back out of that. Oh, I can kill him. Hold up. With his own... Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna kill that fucking thing. I can help you move your save. I'll let you know if I wanna do that. Yeah, being able to save state graveyard slots would be nice if I try to go for something complex. I'll think about it. Okay, this guy went defense. I think he knows this card is actually pretty decent. I don't have any fucking juice, though. See, this would be awesome if I had a forest deck, I could just invalidate his cards, but if I juice up my cards with this terrain, then he also gets juiced, so I don't know. I'm gonna do forest on this side. Oh. Hey, at least I got rid of that. Actually, good, actually, that I did that. Now I can use my power-ups, because that shit is gone. That's actually really good for me. That's, like, fantastic, actually. Now that shit's gone, I can juice up safely. And here he is with a fucking, probably barrel spider or whatever. Yep, barrel dragon. Shot himself again, though. Okay, I have to take advantage of that. Whatever this is, I don't care. 
That actually did damage to me. What happened? That's a robotic knight right there. He can kill me next turn with that goddamn. At least I know. How's this? I was not good in this fight. Okay, let's clear some shit. Yeah, Keith is such a shitter. This is gonna be an interesting duel. Alright, this guy's dead, unfortunately. Move back preemptively, because this guy can move two spaces, and I don't want that. Yeah, the thing I don't like about the Redux mod is that it also is like an overhaul for the campaign. I wish it was just quality of life stuff, but then they went over the top with changing everything else. What the fuck? Huh? Why did he do that? Why did he do that? What? Yep. Okay. You know what? I'm not even gonna question that. What? Oh. He loses that? Okay, that's... Why would they make that decision? Why, why would he do that? Why did he just do that? Okay. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Robotic Knight buffs itself in defense? Oh! And he thought that the score was higher- oh my god. I can't believe that they can do that. I can't believe they can make that mistake. It lost its de- okay, it, it gets a defense buff, and with those numbers it thought it could kill me, and then it- okay. That's so funny. What the hell? This game owns so much. Alright, is this some kind of crazy fusion? Okay. Oh! Downgrade, actually, but at least it's a- yeah, that's a downgrade, whatever. What is this? Oh, that's a barrel dragon. Okay, we gotta do something about that soon. I'll have downgrade fusions. Yeah, not much of one, but it is one. Oh my god. What is this? Alright, barrel dragon's on the move. Why do you put that in defenses? You know it ain't shit. Oh, there's my dude, Cyber Commander. Get him back here. That's my dude right there. Alright, I'm going in. Get the gatekeeper out of here. Alright. We've got something here. I just don't have any buffs. Imagine if this had a buff on it. I'm on the move. I need to get this wasteland out of here, and this trap isn't all too helpful either. Interesting. He didn't summon behind him. What could that mean? That means something. Yeah, he's definitely stalling, and he's definitely on the run. I'm gonna deal damage to him this turn. Oh, yeah. That's a chunk. Okay. I just need to slow down this barrel dragon, and we're in there. I need a clear space. This shit sucks. Oh? Okay. I'll take it. It's alright, I guess. Does he have any deck abilities, I wonder? Movement boost for same type friendlies. That's, that's so niche. You have to be close to your cards and then they get them a movement boost of some sort. I don't know. Weird. I'm gonna leave him here. 
I want multiple cards in the way so that he can't get to my deck leader fast. I'm gonna slow him down, because this shit's gonna happen for the next like three turns. Yeah, it's it's useless here because of the fucking terrain. Oh, this is shit. Okay, I can do wind stress to slow him down again. Hold up. I would fuse here just to get some cards out of the way, but I don't want a fusion to happen. I could get machine dragon here if I. Okay, hold on. Oh, fuse. Okay. Hoggies. Hoggies. Hell yeah. I wonder if he's gonna go up or down. I think he'll go down. Alright, what do we got? Nothing. Okay. Happy birthday, Sham. You know, you're not- and you're not f too far off. It's in... Seven days, actually. There's a there. He's gonna keep running, but I'll catch up to him. I'm just worried about this. We gotta slow down this encounter, and it will. What are you gonna do for your birthday? I don't know yet. I have not been planning. I am getting dinner though. Oh shit, what is this? Power increase? Alright, he chose to go down. This is a wind dragon though. This will slow him down as well. Nice. I want to see what cards of his you're walking over. Wait, you can look at the graveyard? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. Machine King 3800. Shit. He got lucky. So bad. Conversion factory? I can't tell. Is it in order? There is that. Top is the oldest. Okay, so the bottom one's the newest. Alright. Okay. This is scary. I think I want to try aggressing into this card, but it's in defense, so I'm not going to get any LP damage out of it. But I definitely cannot, under any circumstances, get to his deck leader anymore with this fucking monster in the way. What is the effect? Good forever. This card's flipped face up. It gets 100 for every monster, every machine monster on the field. Okay, so that would have juiced me. I didn't just get killed there. Um, damn, I had something good going there. I got good damage out of it, but now he got lucky. I gotta move. I don't know how I win this. There are a lot of problems here. I'm gonna go back and around. I just need to clear space. And before a really good fusion. Oh no, fuck, oh, god. Oh no! Okay, write that down. What was that? These two. 
Warrior Fiend and Cyber Soldier? Is that what that was? Okay, god damn, I hate when that happens. I should only fuse twice at a time. Cyber Soldier was the result? Okay. And that got sent to the graveyard too, huh? Okay, I have a question. Can I graveyard my own fusions? Like, if I if I were to duel myself, and I did a fusion, and I went to the graveyard, when I do graveyard slots, would I be able to get that back? If, if the enemy with my cards did that, would I be able to graveyard a fusion result? Is that how that works? Oh, God. Shit cards for days. Yes. Wow. Confusions aren't results you can get in your deck? Okay. That's weird. This game has so many weird systems. Look at this monster, dude. Fuck. I can't make this shit up. I got so close, but now I think it's only a matter of time until I get destroyed here. Um... Do that for now. Now he's got his own fucking crazy defensive formation in the corner there. Now he's aggressing. He's gonna get spellbound again though. What is that? I wonder what that is in the corner. Power up. I don't think I've used a power up yet, though, have I? This whole time I still haven't gotten my power up, huh? Okay, well, I guess I uh, will play this guy. What's the effect? How do I do it? Face up defense, okay, a lot of those, huh? I have to move this guy. I'm moving this guy for now while I still can. I don't want him in the way. He's not- oh, I wasn't defending that guy? Oh no. I didn't see that. Fuck. That's really bad. I just took so much unnecessary damage. That could have been zero. How does he get cards that powerful? That's... okay. That's really bad. What type is he? What's that? What attribute is that, and what can I stun it with? Light? That's a light. It looks like the opposite of light. I know it's not dark. Actually, let's look at the... A good way to tell is by looking at the uh, power-up cards. Horn of Light. That's Earth? Interesting. Fire? Fire, all I have is dark and light. Goddamn. Alright, let's see what the hell this is. Okay. Let's, um. Inspect. Another magic jammer, perhaps? Interesting. Lightning when I said light? Oh, okay. He has two magic jammers. What a bitch. Oh god, he's moving, dude. Man. Oh, I'm on the run. Oh, <laughs> too late for that, huh? Actually. It's such a shame to apply this to such a weak card. I can make the dragon machine and then 
pop the power up on it, I guess, but he's gonna be up my ass in one turn. Alright, here's what we do, right? We gotta stall. Girl Dragon's gonna fuck up one of my buffers. Oh. Why is he out? Why is he doing that? Why is he just out for blood? Killing all my effect cards. At least they're- it's, at least this is a diversion. It just weakens my only- my last hope of offense here. It might be a bit early to be fighting this guy. I could fight the other row of, uh, of duelists first. I think I'll do that if this fucks up. We lose this. A bit ambitious to be here right now, in all honesty. Oh, this isn't in, in defense. What the hell? Maybe that's why I went down. Good thing I caught that. AI is way towards face of monsters. Oh, I guess that's why he did it. At least I can. At least I was able to draw him down, get some of the pressure off my back. Interesting. Okay, well I don't have any juice, so let me just turn. Yeah, I know Pegasus is insane. I remember that fuck. He's very defensive though. He does not chase you down. Prime opportunity for pumpkin strats. I remember that's how I beat him the first time around. Oh boy. Shit. Well, I lost my power up buffer. I lost all my buffs. Alright, you know what? Get out of the way. I get some behind myself to slow him down, but I really just want to get some offensive going. Okay. I can make that sand girl, but that doesn't have any buffs here, right? It does on Wasteland, doesn't it? Okay, let me look at the numbers for this. Mystical sand, it would be 2100. Yeah, that's not worth compared to this. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna bum rush. I'm going in. I need to do some damage. Yeah, Pegasus is insane. Yeah, his entire half of the field is Toon, and there are two choke points on either side to get into his half of the terrain. He just makes a formation around his deck leader and doesn't fucking move. He's the biggest abuser of terrain there is. He's a bitch. Wait, did he move on me at all there? He went down. What? He didn't move? He went down? What's going on? What's his problem? Is this how I win? Alright, what's gonna happen? What's the damage? What perverted card? Okay, nothing, huh? Yeah, why do you go away from me? I'll take advantage of this all day. What the fuck is this? What's happening? What? Uh, uh, excuse me? He went down just to kill himself? Keith? God, I wish I had your card so I could be a fucking idiot and win anyways. What is this? Get in there. Oh my fucking god. This is how we win. What? What? Dude. 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 What is this? Uh. W? I. Dose of the Roses, everybody. This is what it is. Fucking stoned. I love this. This is how I win. He's killing himself. But I hope he doesn't stall forever here. 
Oh my fucking god. He killed himself, it's over. Unless there's some perverted trap card under there. I won! I fucking won! He threw four turns in a row. I'll get him. This game is so fucking stoned. I love this. What the fuck? Okay. Chaos. This could be big. Let's get slot machine. I see it. Fucking god, it's so hard to do this. There's like a delay on it too. Oh, okay. That's just as good. Is that Machine King? Okay, at this point, it doesn't fucking matter what I get after this. I... okay. That's a power-up. And another buff. That's literally so fucking good. All three of those. Bro. Fucking Keith, dude. Sexy style. I okay, okay. F to save immediately. Give me that fucking rose card, bitch. I can't believe what just fucking happened, dude. That was insane. Why did he do that? He literally could have gotten my deck leader within two turns. But he moved down away from my deck leader so that the other card could fucking kill the other one for no reason at all. And then did not stall efficiently. And I stole his buff. Barrel Dragon is coded weird? It seems like it. Dude. This stream is going a lot better than I thought it'd be going. Machine King. God, I had to fucking load that card. That's fucking cool. Look at this dude. This would be a cool deck leader. That weren't insane to farm. And I got a buff for what is this? Seven seven seven? Slot machine? Okay, that's for slot machine only. Roxas, okay. The money. Damn, he's good. Yes. He's good. It's just too fucking good. So GGB with the 777. Thank you very much. Yes. So I didn't get slot machine, because this card's kinda useless until then, but got machines. I also got this and that. That's insane. Alright, it's three more until the next resurrection. It's bitch ass zombie out of here. Fuck Wilmy. Okay. Machines are cool. Too bad leveling my deck leader is insane. Because I, you can get a passive for your deck leader called Movement that just lets them move two cards at all times. You can just run really fast with it, and I wish I could get that. But it is, like, I will literally do the entire game and not get a single rank because of how well made that feature is. And every loss is also, like, a loss of EXP to make matters worse. See, Robotic Knight would be cool to have as not a deck leader, but I'm literally stuck with Robotic Knight as a deck leader because it is insane to level of anything up. Yeah, the music is awesome in this uh, deck building thing. Got two buffs. I didn't even have to duel myself. Get them. That helps a lot. Deck leader got any effects? Uh, nope. Cool ass. Yeah, really cool leader ability feature where you don't get anything for seven years. It has to level up more, and I will not be able to level it up. Just straight up. That is how long it takes. It will not happen.
Yeah, getting the highest rank, like, dragons get movement at Admiral, or no, Secretary of Defense. Oh, they get an Admiral thing, but, like, I think there are some abilities that are on Secretary of Defense, and if you lose a single duel, then it goes down. Because it's like, you don't get to go above, because, like, the, the EXP for the highest rank is 65535, which you might be familiar with, because that's, like, the maximum number that an unsigned weirdo integer can be, or whatever the nerd shit is. That's how much EXP you get from Lucifer in SMT3, is the highest amount that that number can be. Welcome Duels to the Roses, baby, let's go. That clear itself doesn't get EXP. It does, but it's like, it's, it's, you get 32 if you win. That's nothing. It takes 500 EXP to get to the first rank. Then from there, it's like a thousand each. Reverse. Alright, I'm gonna start fucking up these, uh, oh, I actually would have to destroy my deck to fight this guy. That cost. Let's see what Darkness Roller has to offer, perhaps. How about... Look at... Look at... Look at the deck cost of these guys. Pegasus 1200. Who's this? Labyrinth Ruler. I actually want to fight him. This is... I think this is another Wasteland deck. And you, there's a card that you can get that I really would like to get from this guy, where it just converts one space to... A labyrinth, and it can really give you some cool strats. Like, um, you can just cut off an entire section of the map if it's like a labyrinth shapes map with like places you can't go. You can just cut off a choke point. It's really cool. Let's see what happens. This is the dude who I killed by uh, flipping up his cards and uh, trapping him. Uh, let's let's do something I can. Let's do something a bit easier, actually. Before we get into that, I've been, like, progressively doing harder and harder shit. Let's, let's, uh, do something on even turf. I don't know where I would get that card that flips up all other cards. It'd be cool to get first. Unlikely, though. We got Yami and some grass. I don't know how many of my cards would benefit from this fucking terrain, so we'll see. Not many. Not many at all right now, actually. Oh, here's the Wasteland dude, though. I could do that for, um... I could get, like, one space to sit one of my defensive cards on. Bean cards? Oh, yeah. That's, um... He could cover that space and kill this dude, so let's just... Let's make, let's make my t terrain right here, okay. Hometown advantage right there. Just to start things off before I get the wasteland terrain. No, he. I think this guy's a defensive. I think he makes a formation in this corner, if I recall correctly. So let's um move that a bit forward. Set this guy up so that when I uh. When I do flip this, I can move him on. Maybe. Oh, is he gonna, like, do something? He's gonna fuck me up. He's gonna flip that up. I'm gonna fucking surrender. Yep. Okay, yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, but that, that did lower the damage, though, because of that. Actually... Oh, man, I'm... Maybe I have a, maybe I have a better card here. Oh, man. Okay, that would have been a good play if I had a terrain... If I had a strong... If I had, like, that fucking... That new machine I just got. This would have been a good play because I would have baited him onto this terrain. And made the LP loss worth it, but I think at this point I'm just gonna reset just because I lost so much already. Let's see if I have a machine fusion. If I don't, then I'm just gonna reset, because that was a big fuck up for nothing. Maybe? No, that's 
Yeah, fuck it. At least I'll get one closer to um, my next resurrection. Paralyzing potions? I think he does. I think I remember this fight having a bunch of perverted trap cards in it. Yeah, that was a whoopsie. Ever had a Yu-Gi-Oh deck? I definitely had some for fun when I was a kid. But I did not know how to play. Because this is the only rule set that I thought existed back then. Okay, yeah, run that back. That's what I was afraid of happening, but then he played defensively, and I was like, okay, maybe I can get away with this, and I did not get away with it. I played the new game that came out? Nope. I have no idea. Oh, there's Forest. I don't know how to do any uh, real Yu-Gi-Oh shit. I don't really care to learn. This is a decent deck right away. I'm just gonna flip this into Forest. Now imagine if that were a wasteland. Why are you advancing? Okay, there's a power up. What is he doing? Yo, Neon Hummingbird, with a good message. I agree. Hmm. Let's... Oh? Hold up. This won't be good or bad. That wasn't a good fusion. I didn't want that to, like, power up a really weak machine that I might have just summoned. Let's get that on the field here so that I can, uh, clear up deck space while also having this just ready to go when I get a good machine. You really playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Yo, no, this is actually a PSYOP. I'm not actually streaming this game right now. You just think I am because I've poisoned you. And somehow that makes me think that makes you think you're watching the stream of me playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Here's that wasteland bait card. Just put that in defense and pull back my buff. I don't know what his play is. He goes... He'll definitely play offensively if the situation is right, but right now he's just making some weird... formation. Yeah, this is Royal Guard. I know I'm just getting ready and feeling this encounter out. Getting my cards. I don't think this guy will approach me. But I'm afraid of getting a really good demon buffed and then having some like fucked up card just instantly kill it or some weird shit. I'm worried about that. Okay, here's the juice. That's a stimmy. Let's get that. Let's have that sit all the way back here for when the time is right. I'm almost at the limit of cards I can have on the field. I might have to kill something. Got cherry and chocolate ice cream. Yo, hell yeah. I'm also, happy birthday. Sounds good as fuck. It's weird that the AI in this game likes to, like, exhaust all their options by double-tapping all their cards. Oh, all my- here- all my stimmy demons are here. Okay, I'm gonna... ...use this card to, like, poke at him. 
a little bit. I don't need two of these. Like I might not even need one of them either. Okay, as soon as the machine king or whatever his name is shows up, it's time. Oh boy. Oh hell yeah. Goodbye. Shitty card. Yeah, we're doing the machine deck. And we have insane... Oh boy, what is this? That's in defense, right? Yeah, we're good. We gotta move, though. He's gonna fuck up my... Oh, that's my... Oh, god, I can't have him fuck this up. God. Oh! Wasteland. Hold up. Oh, I meant to flip that up! God damn it. I pressed the button, and it didn't do anything, because I pressed it at the same time. Oh boy. That's not good. He won't fuck with it, it'll be fine. I'm just afraid that he'll flip up and, like, kill one of my buffs. Would hate that. I wish he didn't start attacking me, because I'm almost ready. I'm just clearing decks, clearing my deck for the good shit. Oh. Okay, that's just one of two buffs. We're fine. Can I please get a good card to do something with, man? This is so unfortunate. Oh, I can just kill this guy for free. What am I worrying about? Hold on. Let me just deal with the trash real quick. He moved off his good terrain. Was this game I do not comprehend. It is Yu-Gi-Oh! Tactics. It owns. Okay, well, I lost a buff, unfortunately, because of that shitter card, but I needed this card up anyways. For the stimmy. So as soon as I get a Pog card, we're in business. And I think he's... Gonna sit for a while and not really do anything. I lost my wasteland, didn't I? That's one of the cards that that shitter ate. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. That should have been flipped up by now. But I fucked up the input. I got ahead of myself. Oh well. It's just a crutch. I don't need it. I'm hoping to not get a fusion here. Thank God. Okay, I better have a good card to scale off of in a second. Or else I will be very angry. Let's see it. I'm too bad about that wasteland though. Alright, there he is. I just need more juice. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass, and that'll be good. I think. I'm gonna have a crazy monster here in a second. I almost said demon because of how much SMT I play. Oh, Gorgon's Eye? That's fine, actually. But he's not in defense, though! Fucking Gorgon's Eye! Whatever, it's just 200 extra damage. Got him coping. I'm losing all my juice. Gorgon's Eye! At least I didn't have him to a better card. Fucking Gorgon's Eye, dude. Fucking Gorgon's Eye. Stupid. Permanent fucking spellbind. And I don't even get to keep it in defense. Asshole. Alright. Losing a lot of juice that I have, but it's fine because of uh, 
Got a lot of juice anyways. Gorgon's Eye. And I lost my Wasteland, I lost one of my buffs. And I lost the 200 stem. I've, I've lost three things, but I still have two things left. Arguably this is better, so at least the Gorgon's Eye killed that instead of this. It's permanent? It's still there, huh? It just goes forever? Okay, well, I guess I don't get that effect either. Wow, I'm losing all my juice. What the hell? That's so fucked up. Okay, well. Gorgon's Eye. Hope I get that if I win this. That's, like, absurd. That's absurdly powerful in this kind of game. Alright, at this point I'm just gonna start summoning a bunch of shitty machines so that it gets extra stimmy. Because of its effect. God. Ban this shit. Oh, he always puts it in front of him like that. It's dumb that- it's dumb that he puts it in front of him. I would imagine it'd be smarter to put it behind him. Hopefully he does that every time. In case I have to duel him again. Gorgon's Eye. Permanent. I thought it was over. I don't even have Wasteland to make up for it. Okay. I'm gonna run it over with the bear trap. Fucking Gorgon's Eye. Insane. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna run it over with my fucking... My little dude. Bitch. Unfortunate. I didn't want to use it for that. It's fine. Gorgon Sigh. You literally just can't defend. Oh, that thing is up. Alright. The more monsters I have, the more machines I have, the crazier this gets. Okay, so don't defend anything, I guess. It seems. I'm not allowed to do that. That's fucked. I don't even have Wasteland. It sucks that I fucked that up. That one's on me. Oh, he died. Who knows how many perverse spell traps are there as well. Perhaps there's probably gonna be a spell bind that's like three turns. But it's not like he's gonna be able to do anything against it. 3100, I don't know if he can compete with that. More machines. Oh. I could probably kill these now, right? Man, I would have 300 extra. I would have- this would be easily 4k if everything that I had didn't get fucked up. Damn, that sucks a lot. Okay. That's the first thing I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna get spellbound by this, and then that's gonna activate, and then... Fucking me. Alright. Make it happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna replace all these spellbound cards. They're nothing to me. If only they could just at least sit in defense. So I get the passive. I don't even get that. Let's get owned. Perfect counter to my insane stack that I just put together. Oh well. What do we got? Handle machine? Not too bad. I just don't get to defend while that thing is up. Alright, what do we got? Some bitch ass card. 1920 by 1080. to win anyways. It's weird seeing increments of 20. That's rare. 20, 30, usually it's 50 at least. 
I'm killing that Gorgon's Eye. I don't care what else is here. I probably will get Spellbound, though. I, oh, I am really close. That guy. I could take a lot of damage here because I can't safely defend the fucking Gorgon Eye. It's not like it's gonna matter, though. It's not like I, I don't have any other plans for these cards. 3,800, holy shit. Let's clear some space. A lot of space. And this will die immediately. Something's gonna happen when I try to attack this Gorgonite. Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That card has a lot of nerve trying to attack me right now. Does it know? Does it know something I don't? Fuck your Gorgon's Eye. Now I can... Oh yeah, this feels good. I think there's at least one fusion in here. But I'm just gonna dump them. Any non-machines back here? I don't need any of these cards, so... Let's just kill them all. In the hopes that I could get a buff. There we go. It it's unfortunate that the AI has feels the need to like double tap all their cards like that, even if they aren't gonna do anything with them. It takes a lot of time. Oh, I think th there's gotta there's gotta be a spell bind that will activate when I try to attack the leader. Yeah. Oh, that's really bad. Is that three turns or forever? That's- okay, that's three. Just as I thought, that's three turns. I thought that was permanent. I was gonna shit my phone. That's yeah, not too bad. That's not too bad. That's exactly what I was expecting to happen. At some point. Now he's on the run. He's gonna have a lot of time to run. This is unfortunate. It's three turns where he can kill all of these defending machines and then lower my attack points. But I think it like this card's so, so good that it, it doesn't matter. It'll still be really good. I guess I could move him. No harm in that. It would have been smarter to make this formation along this wall instead of along the back wall. Is change of heart in this game? Yes, it is. I remember it. I don't. I don't know which duelist has it, and I don't think I ever got it myself. But it is very much in this game. of decking out. If you run out, you don't lose immediately. That doesn't happen in this game. Wow, what a pog yami. That totally did a lot. It didn't do shit. I guess this has it? Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. God, what a fucked up duelist. That was just as bad as when I fucked up my... Um, my Wasteland card earlier. I guess that balances out. Oh, he's defending with these two cards, huh? Okay, well, I guess I don't have to move these yet. And then defense, and then wait out the Spellbind and see what we can do.
I don't really have to summon anything more. And it's to my disadvantage to do so because um, all those... All four of my machines are uh, powering up Spellbound one right now. There's got, there are like three trap cards in there, I can already tell. That's why they're all just sitting here. What are you doing with that card? That almost makes me want to kill that card. Might just win on... Win on that, depending on how much attack that has. Okay, now it's undone. Let's see it. That set me back a little bit, but at least whatever effect that is is gone. In fact, let's look at the... Let's look at the graveyard, right? Invisible wire. That's what that was. But my card is so powerful it didn't get hit by that. He wanted that to happen, but he didn't factor that in. Interesting. That is a trap card that kills any card that has 3,000 attack or less. Just instantly. Got hit by that last duel, I think. It was rough. But this card is so powerful, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, Machine King is great, and the fact that I got it first try was very nice. This passive is insane. It, make, it makes all these trash cards very valuable to have just sitting back here. Make my own formation. If all went well, this Machine King would have like 4,500 plus attack right now. Easily. I missed, like, at least a thousand attack bonus without terrain. Get that Gorgon's Eye card. Yeah, I'll get it if I can. I don't have any saves. I don't have any ability to save state. Because, you know, PS3, by the way. And it's not very easy to get those on purpose, but I will try. Especially because it's a very distinct looking card. I can see it in the, uh... Doing the graveyard isn't RNG graveyard slots. I wouldn't call it RNG. You just have to time it. That's uh, not necessarily easy to do, but I will try. Okay, so this guy doesn't really have anywhere to run without killing cards, which could be good for me if they're traps. But we got a player. Why are you defending with that fucking card? What is your idea? Oh, he's making space. Is he? Oh, not even. I can't tell what he's doing. He's just... I will get spellbound. I think. The fact that he didn't even try to move. But... Yep. Uh... Holy shit. I actually lagged the game. What the hell? One... Okay, one turn of spellbound and that decreased, like, a considerable amount of power. But even then, it's still really good. But we're starting to get into the danger zone of, like, one of these attack cards being- having enough power to hit me. I think the AI, if it is behaving correctly, will not run over its own spell traps. Power decrease plus spellbound plus ratio. God, don't you think that the power decrease is already strong enough? I think at this point I'm just waiting down his, uh... <laughs> All of his traps. Alright. Now he's behaving properly, I think. A ritual? What? Rare? What has happened? What did he just summon? I have never seen that in a real duel. Rare fish? Okay. We move. I'm dead? Was oh, there some insane card right here? We gotta move. Instantly put in defense, though. What could that mean?
All right, here he goes. Now he's fucking running for his life. Okay. That's all. That's all I can do. Make him kill something or run back into the corner. He just ran over the ritual monster. Did he really? Okay, I'll check the graveyard. God, I gotta. This is gonna. This is gonna be a long game of cat and mouse here. Time seal. Don't be an eternal spellbound. Let's see. Let's see the damage. It's over. Yeah, Zero the Man. Fucking time seal. He just pulled that out of his ass. Okay, we gotta do something. I have more tricks up my sleeve, I think. Yeah, no, I definitely put all my eggs in one basket against a duelist that specifically punishes that. That is definitely what has happened. Um, well, now I can get rid of some of these trash cards. Get out of there. These are my last cards, I should move them. Yeah, he, I've never seen a ritual summon. And I, I'm under the un, I am under the impression that that's rare. Based on that. Alright, let's see what we can do. I have no idea how many of these enemies are actual uh, cards. I've seen like two real cards and everything else is just fucking traps. It has been 30 turns now. This is a long one. Burglar. Of course. Drive you insane. Eh, I like it. Machine King getting a hell of XP, true. Actually, true. But I wouldn't want to make him a deck leader. He's so powerful as a normal card. It's a weird paradox. A weird paradox. I definitely should have sent in lesser cards to, um, to, like, get hit by those traps first before sending in my buff dude. But I was afraid of taking a big amount of LP damage from real cards, but I, I've, like, barely seen any real cards. Let's, let's see. Yo! Base toss. Yo, number 72. For the 13 months, thank you very much. Ritual. How many of these are real cards? All these real cards have been, like, run over by the deck leader as well. I'm gonna think of it. This is insane. Yeah, a lot of stalling definitely happens in this game. This is definitely a slower Yu-Gi-Oh game. But I like the slow burn. When it ends like this, it's a little strange. A little rough. He's making a move. It'd be nice to get something to remove this kind of spell bind. It'd be nice to have one of those, just so if I get myself in this situation, I can come back from it. I'm gonna try poking at these cards, so I don't really have much else to do at this point. Oh, 
What is he doing? Terrain that destroys any card over 1500 the entire battlefield. Isn't that... That's Crush, isn't it? Crush Terrain. It's goofy. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Fucking power decrease. And spellbind. Isn't that already fucking strong enough? God. What's this? God. Here's another mermaid. What's this? I don't remember. Oh my fucking god. Everything's a power decrease spellbind. There's like seven seven cards to do the exact same thing. This is so bad. Oh. This is such a... God, imagine if I had Ray Geki, I could just destroy everything. So fucked up. Everything's a fucking spellbind. Beating him will be cool though, because I'll just get a shitload of those in the graveyard. But I didn't get more damage down though, right away. Because I did a big chunk to this guy and then this happened. Pulled the Day Kaja, I wish. Alright, 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 let's see how this pans out. I still have a big advantage. If I use up the rest of the 66 turns, I guess I'll fucking win automatically. Which is insane as a strategy, but you know. Crazy shit. Deranged, even. I'm just gonna bum rush him. You can't have- you can't possibly have enough. If I had known these were all going to be traps, I would have bum-rushed them from the start. But, like, all my machines were backloaded. Or bottom-loaded, or whatever. God. What's it going to be? Oh. Is he gonna sit with a 2500 attack card? He's just gonna sit there the entire duel? What a weirdo. Can do that? That's unfortunate. Fuck okay, it, I'm just going in. Wait 64 turns, you'll win. That's that's a worse feat. That's a worse fate than defeat, I think. Oh yeah, here's where it all falls apart. I have had to do that once. Again, against the Labyrinth guy, I got into a situation where I couldn't reach the deck leader. He wasn't fully surrounded, but he was surrounded enough to the point where I could not touch him, and I killed all the rest of his cards. So I had to wait it out at that point to win. It was insane. Dude! More of this. How could he have so many? I think the answer is to... ...not let this formation occur. I spent so many turns buffing. And even if I get- even if I got all those buffs that I missed out on, I still would have gotten fucked up by all these power decreasing spellbinds and shit. Real monsters literally sat and waited 40 turns to do something. And now I don't have any cards that have enough attack to actually kill those. See, if I had hopped on those earlier, when they were, like, not in defense, I could have like, destroyed them. Now at this point, I don't know what's gonna happen. Although... 
still have one card that can do damage. Who knows, they might go in defense though. I would imagine. I don't have any cards. That's my one card left. Weak on forest. Oh yeah, I did. I forgot I summoned that forest. All this forest is my responsibility. I did that. Now they're all in defense. Fuck. We might just get away with this somehow. I, can, I mean, I can kill that. That's not going to give me any damage. Block your leader as bait. Oh yeah, I could get him to flip up and then perhaps... Oh. Okay, so if they sit on Yami, then I can't beat them. But if I get them over to my leader, will they even do that? I feel like this guy has a tendency to not do anything. But that's what we're going to do. These guys don't make the smartest decisions when, you know, juice is on the line. I still don't understand what the hell happened to Keith. That was insane. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in this game, and it benefited me. Okay, I think we can still win this. But it's gonna take some time. He doesn't even care. Look at how close my fucking deck leader is. He doesn't even care. I don't even care that he could flip up and attack me. At this point, I just want to get this over with. Win or lose. Eight hundred. <laughs> okay, dude. Yeah, eight hundred. I mean, that is a lot of damage at this point. I can only take one more hit from that. This would be really cool if I had a card to summon. Oh, the deck loot is right there. Let's see how this pans out. I told you about stairs, dog. I warned you, bro. Maybe... That guy's gonna move. Oh my god, it's over. I win. I think. Hold up. This is exactly what I thought would happen. This is bait. I set this up on purpose. I win. I might be close. I might be close. 80. If only I had fucking sparks right now. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta move. 80. Oh my god. Stupid ass card that subtracted 20. Weird increment of 20. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, Sparks is 50, and that's still... Imagine if I had something that was just 100. That'd be great right now. Alright, we can do this. What is he gonna pull out of his ass in the 11th hour of this duel? What is that? Oh? Huh? Okay, if it were good, he would have attacked me. It's good on Yami, perhaps. I gotta bait him. Maybe it's a... No, you can't fuse... Can you fuse spellbind cards? He can't move over that. He can only move back. Alright, fuck it. This is the only certain play. That is sad. You don't want it. I'm not baiting, I'm not going onto that Yami field. See, look, he could flip up and hit me. I'm not falling for that.
See, like, he can go 1, 2, but he's not gonna be able to hit me here. But I can't punish him for doing that by going on to the, um... You may need to summon on your left. I ain't got any cards. I'm just gonna see what this is. It could be shit. It's nothing. I'll get it. I don't even care at this point. I just want to see what will happen. Anything could happen. His bait forced his hand. Called his bluff. Okay. See, if I moved here, this guy would have clapped my ass. God, this is... 50... It's been like 60 turns. It's gone. What the fuck? Okay. He's gone. God. It sucks that I only have one card for this. Oh yeah, I should check the graveyard. Whatever it was, it was trash. Perhaps. Were you any Kenshin powered? What is that? The <laughs> job change mirrors in here, yo. If I win this, this will be like big for graveyard. I could get a lot of good shit, traps and job change triangle on it. I can do that. Oh, details. It would have been good on Yami. But it would not have been enough for, um... The machine that I have left. Imagine getting this. I can make fucking someone's skull. I think deck leaders can attack each other. Alright, I'm gonna move forward. So that he either runs this over or moves here. I don't think deck leaders can attack each other, can they? No, they can't. Imagine if they could. I don't know. What do I want to do here? You can pin him. Like, check bait? Like, if there's a card to the front. I think moving right is safer. Let's just fucking let's, let's let it rock. Oh, fuck it, cards for days. Oh, if that's oh, he might be able to flip that up and hit me. Oh. Oh, it's another ritual. Is this card even good? 300. Not enough. Interesting choice. He could have killed me. That's a problem. Man. Can I just fucking... If only I can move two spaces, I could just... I could kill him. He's right there. You can just move around forever, dude. Oh. It's over. It, I think it was over anyways, to begin with. That just made things really, really bad. Yeah. It was over anyways, he was able to stall forever, and if I got deeper into his terrain, he still would have been able to do that. Well, it was interesting how close that got. That is so fucked up. <laughs> Game sucks, it's true. <laughs> Fucking A. That was a long duel. Rank up. No shot. It takes 500 EXP to rank up once, and that's like... Four... Duels that go to 99. It's actually ridiculous how bad that system is. Like, unironically. Okay, well, we learned an important lesson. Don't fuck with that. Don't let that shit go on for that long. 
And don't accidentally fuck up your wasteland card. Who's this? Oh, I have to fuck up my deck for this guy. Do I have a resurrection ready? Let's see. I think I have to do one more duel for that. When I get to the title. Yeah, constant chasing sucks. That's like one big problem, so they can stall forever like that, and they usually have a lot more cards than you do. One more? Okay. Does it count if I go in here and then surrender? Let's try I want to see what this is like anyways. At least for one turn. Yeah, that is definitely a fucked up duelist. Yes, I have Evangelion Unit 1 over here. Too bad I didn't get, um... What's his name? Slot Machine. Fucking two rituals. Not one, but two. So rare. A little ritual out of his ass just to get, finally get a card that can actually attack me. Spent that whole time fucking around. Jesus Christ. Rough stuff. Let's see what this is like. Oh, look at these maps. Oh, look at these maps. Look at these maps. Too bad. There's a feature where you get to make your own map, and that's, that, that's the one that lets you um, grind EXP most efficiently, because you can set your own labyrinths. Labyrinth? Well, labyrinths? How do you say that plural? Oh, this would get it done, though. Look at this. Hold up. This would be good for just one card. Oh, the best theme in the game! This is one of my starter themes. I don't fucking know. I just want to see what his cards are. They're mine. It's a mirror match. Oh, he's gaming. What the fuck? If I had sparks, I could win this. If I waited 99 turns. I guess this is what you would use to grind a single card for deck leader EXP, assuming you had infinite time and patience. Does this count as defeat? It's a fucking draw. It's <laughs> a brutal ass game. Yeah, this is the best theme in the game. Too bad the uh, Yorkist theme isn't nearly as dripped out. Maybe we should make a mod where that's the Yorkist theme. If you had the Labyrinth card, you could use this map for grinding. Or this one. It'll be easier. AI plays auto die. Oh yeah. No, I think the AI knows the AI knows that Crush will kill their card, so they don't do anything. The reason why you use Crush in the grinding strat is so that they actually spend the less time doing things. Like the whole point, there are optimizations made in the grinding strat literally just to save time. Because it, it's made for people that are on hardware. You want the AI to do less actions. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I think that's dependent on um, if they have a fusion in their hand. They are going to prioritize the fusion, but if, it, if the uh, attack is too high, then they won't do it on Crush, so they won't do anything. That's the strat, I think, that Clovis made, that the Duelist of the Roses dude. Anyways, um, let's see if I can uh, resurrect now. I, resurrection such a crazy feature. I'm glad I have been taught how to do it. 2001 PS2 title, this looks older. Yeah, it has a lot of PS1 game vibes, and I think that's cool. Oh, hold on. I think it's because my deck is full. Alright, who are we resurrecting? 
I want to do something that's a high deck cost, but not necessarily helpful. And I think Pendulum Machine kind of sucks now. Compared to cards like this. It's still good defensively, but... Yeah, I've got two of these guys. Fuck this guy. That's 34 right there. Can't resurrect. Does my deck need to be full as well? Fucking perverted game. No wonder nobody knows about this fucking feature. Do I not have one ready? Did that not count? Perhaps it didn't count. Okay, well, let me go do that again. I want a resurrection. I want to pull the lever. It's a cool feature. I saved. Don't worry. There's a thing that PS1 games did when they faded to black that was kind of unique to that era, that gen. I don't know if SNES games or anything did that, did this either, but... You ever notice how much cooler PS1 games look when they fade to black? Fucking DC level. Like, it's, it, it's not linear. When it fades to black, some things are brighter and some things are darker. It's it's because they use a different effect. It's like a subtractive filter or something. Because it's cheaper for the hardware, I think. That's why PS1 games look cooler when they fade out. I think it uses it here. Did you see that? Anyways, I remember when I was thinking about that because I was I was getting footage of Soul Hackers, and I was like, "Damn, this looks so much cooler." Yeah, the brighter things fade last. It's like an exponential fade in a way. It's because of a subtractive um, filtering. You can use that in like Photoshop or whatever. That's one of the things you can get in the drop-down list. Hold on, let me. I should save before going in here so I can try again without dying again. I'm glad somebody told me to do this machine deck. I remember the only full playthrough of this game that I did beforehand was um, a dragon deck, and it was definitely an uphill battle. Machines are cool too, though, especially because they get the movement passive. It's just I don't think that I am uh, going to get any fucking deck leader abilities unless I do off-stream grinding and just passing turns. I might... I might, just because it's, it's cool. Plan on playing both sides or just one? I think... I think I will do both sides, just because this is going pretty smoothly. Maybe without using codes. Um, only if things get really dire. And I, I would like to do a legitimate playthrough. Passwords and shit. Passwords are so free. There are so many that you can password. It's goofy. Alright. Oh yeah, you can see. It says reincarnation at the bottom. I always wondered what that meant. The game doesn't fucking tell you. So perverted. I use the word perverted in this context when I'm talking about games that are like insanely hardcore and also don't tell you how to do the good shit. You gotta do your own research and be a monster of this game to know what you're doing. It must have taken years for people to figure out how weird shit in this game works. Intended mechanics. The resurrection button's gone because I, uh, in a full deck or some weird shit. Go on. Oh, there it is. All this was in the manual? Really? Well, you know. People, who, who's reading the manual? Only perverts read the manual, actually. It's a weird-ass effect on the cards when it fades in. Axe Raider? This is all Sham's fault. Got that one earlier. Ooh, what? We got. Decent warrior. Oh, I pressed triangle. Oops.
Cool bomb. Men's cards face up. All Sonic made cards are increased. Oh, that seems niche. I don't have any of that. A lot of power-ups can be used, though. I think we re-roll this. Yeah, I'm re-rolling this. Spread sucks. Get out of the way! Any more Tobey Maguire themed rewards? I think it's faster... I know you can do reincarnation from this menu, but I think it's faster to do it from the custom dual menu because it's it's easier to back out. Never played Yu-Gi-Oh in my life. How much will I understand watching this? Probably you'll catch on quick. I think. Not as quick as something like Forbidden Memories, but definitely quicker than fucking Master Duel. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. You know, I feel like people were too harsh on Spider-Man Three. At least in retrospect. Our standards were higher back then, now we fucking watch MCU movies and are like, wow, that's awesome. You know, Tony used to eat hamburgers. And everybody clapped. Yeah, I mean, this is fake Yu-Gi-Oh. Absolutely. Love you 3000. Yeah, the accounts on Twitter called Marvel Quotes, and it's just fucking. The, the tweet is just. It just says, I am Iron Man, and it has 4,000 likes. What the fuck? Jingling keys, man, I, I'm telling you. And I, I'm, I'm not saying fuck all Marvel fans. I'm saying you guys are too easily entertained. They use the stars to total the speed of duels. Oh no, I'm not doing custom duels. I'm just I'm just using this menu because it's faster for this strat. Oh yeah, that is a good strat. It's so annoying how they use this. I feel like the restrictions in this menu where your deck needs to be full in order to press this button, I feel like a lot of people may have missed this feature. Because it doesn't even tell you what button to press when you're in the game, it just says Resurrection, or Reincarnation, or whatever. Alright, where are we going? Huh? Is that a machine? Earth -a Armor or the lizard? Alright, let's see. Decent. Ah, uh, kinda bad. Reptile. I didn't even know that was a type. Oh, Increase the summoning power points to max all when this card's flip face up. Seems situational. Yeah, I mean, they literally just invented L3 and R3. Like, a single digit number of years since those buttons were invented. Was that a button on PS1? When they came out with the DualShock originally? I feel like this card would be decent in a bind, but... That'd give me a shitload of ability to rush down my deck, but that would, like... Assuming you even get this card when you want it. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll this one more time, then piss. I'm pretty sure that DualShock was sooner than the year 2000. Ape Escape had it. That was like a 98 game or 96. That game was like... A gimmick for the DualShock.
Yeah, that was a PS1 thing. Then you have fucking Resident Evil DualShock Edition that has the fucked up music in it. Did they really make a DualShock 2 for PS2? I feel like... Oh, it does say DualShock 2. Okay, I'm gonna blow you guys' mind right now. I am playing on DualShock 2. I have a converter for my PS3 that I am playing on. It is based. I was able to look down at it and it did say DualShock 2. I was like, oh shit. If you press the analog button, it pulls up the, uh, the PS button. It's really cool. Oh no. Oh no. It would have been better if I saved with my deck edited, but you know, that's just a two second time save. Did it do PC2? Yes, I did. That's how I did the SpongeBob controller streams. It's just you have to use a weird program for it. Alright, one more roll. What is that? Okay, boar. What is that? Crawling dragon number two. Not number one, number two. Fuck. Peacock. No fancy name. Oh. You know, it really doesn't take too long to re-roll these, but I have to go to the bathroom, so we're gonna re-roll one more time when I come back. Try reincarnating a different card. Maybe I'll do two reincarnates in one roll, perhaps. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on, let me do it now. I'm addicted to this already. In fact, re-roll the peacock. This shit sucks. That's a hide. Oh, actually, no, you can't do that because you only get one reincarnate per fucking five levels. Five, uh, five completed duels. All right, one more, one more roll. Then we'll get back to it. I think I'll beat the necromancer dude that makes me fuck up my deck with shitty cards so that I can actually fight him. Instead of getting actually stunlocked for 50, 50 turns. How can somebody like go into the VOD and see how long that duel was overall? Because it was definitely a stunlock mentally. I'm going to roll the same card. It's the highest. It's the highest uh, count. Deck count. Deck cost is the highest deck cost card that I feel like giving up, so I'm just rerolling the same one. 40 minutes? Oh, okay. <laughs> At least we're like three or four duelists in already. That's really good for one day. We're gonna be streaming this all week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then I take my three day break. That is the schedule. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I stream for six hours, and then um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm busy, so I do not. That is the schedule for now. Alright, what are we getting this time? What the fuck? Bowser? Block attack? That might be like a magic effect spell thing. Snail. Oh, S card, go. Actually, I know that card. Isn't this part of the- this is this- isn't this part of the fusion for Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon? I'll keep that. Top, not the bottom, what the hell? Trap full range. Disposable trap that triggers when an enemy card completes its move in the attack position. Cancels the card's actions and ends further movement. Whoa, that's... How many turns, though? This would be good for... Stalling, perhaps? 
Perhaps, like, oh, what if I'm getting chased and then I pop this? Full range, I think it's permanent. I think full range means, like, no matter where the card is. That seems really good. I just don't know how many turns it is. I think... I think the card that was spellbinding me in the, de in the, in the defense position was, um... It said specifically that it was forever, but that's still good. And we got this. I'm pretty sure Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon is just as good in this game as it is in FM, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with this roll. I like getting traps and effect cards. It's a one-off. I'll take it. Alright, I will be right back. And then we will do more duels.
Inshallah, he returns. Maybe one day I'll play Forbidden Memories. One day. Now let's see where Twin Headed Thunder Dragon lies in the fusions here. Dragon 2000 plus Thunder. That seems really easy. In fact, I can make that with, um... That really cracked out dragon that I have in here. This dude. Oh yeah. Okay, we got Twin Headed Thunder Dragon on the table. 2800, 2100. Let's make space. Little D. Back in the box. Burger alert. What is that? It's not too bad of a beast. Let me swap out a beast for that beast. Some pretty shitty machines in here as well, but those are decent for my um, my stimmy strats if I set it up fully. I get all these little D's out of here actually. Got all of them. Okay, good. The super niche does it have to have the word dragon in the same. No, it just has to be dragon type. Nothing that crazy. Paste. Yeah, I would do 15 card for FM, for sure. And I would do Twin Headed Thunder Dragon strats as well, because it seems cool. And easy to learn, or, you know. Probably easier to do than a normal playthrough of that game. <laughs> or rather, a blind playthrough. Or just kind of put shit together. The game is a hold over people. I see so many people fucking speedrunning that poison game. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wait, why am I editing my- oh yeah, I have to fucking- I have to remove a hundred deck cost from this to proceed. This shit sucks. Okay, um... And you need 40 cards, right? I... It sucks. I don't need... Forest is kind of expensive for a card that's just kind of whatever. You need Arabi? Probably not. It sucks that you can't just do a deck that has less cards. This is still too high, I think, but I'm not sure exactly how much, so let's check. Looking at 795. What a bitch. Loser ass deck. It's so much more than I thought it was. I thought it was like 800 something. Cause I have like no memory. Oh, here's another dragon, but that dragon is did not work in the fusion. I I might not even be able to set up this deck because I don't have enough cards to f fucking have 40. While having it be cheap enough to actually go into the fight. What the hell? I need more fake traps, I think. That's the only thing I can use. Okay. See, that's already too much, and I still have another card I need to fill. I think I'll get it though if I drop. Like. Drop Space Megatron and just put in some cheapo card, and I think I- yeah, I'll be good now, I think. 
Okay, we're good. But, oh shit. I was wrong. Miscounted. Of course. Alright, that'll definitely do it. Oh, I still have one more. How'd that happen? Alright, little D, you're back up. 777 deck. We will absolutely have good RNG here. Isn't it possible to have a deck where it's like, no limit? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, I was about to tell the story. That whole bagels just posted. Yeah, those guys literally just like made the, made it so that there is a rule by exploiting how you can have an infinite game of like infinite cards, that shit's goofy. They just shuffle forever. That's a dub right there. Ooh. Yeah, that's a win. It's like a fourth dimensional win. Getting the rules changed, rules that you don't like. Like that kind of shit. Machiavellian strategies to get the game changed. This is a weird terrain. Yo, Wasteland? We're in there. Oh, this is the Pumpkin. Okay, we can't let this guy set up Pumpkin strats, because I think this guy can do a partial version of it. Oh no. That's not what I wanted at all. I'm resetting over that. Fucking fusions, dude. I mean, resetting over that's nice because it gets me one step closer to the next resurrection, so it's whatever. Not like I'm losing anything. One duel closer, baby. 200 IQ. Yeah, I mean, I, if it's so early and I make a mistake like that, like a, even a minor mistake, that's like a minor stimmy I could have gotten, but still. Get me closer to the resurrection and run it back. Yeah, I'm gonna rush him down because of how wide open this fucking wasteland is. East Warriors don't get terrain bonus on wasteland, do they? No. I'm gonna send a trap up his ass. How's your war the rose? It's going well. A lot better than I thought it would. Oh, he's already fusing. He's gaming. He's gonna be a power up. What a bitch. Alright, well, at least. It doesn't flip up the card, huh? Oh, it does. There it is. Okay, well. Have anything to do about that? God. That's not good. What is this? That's a power up to me. Uh <laughs> might reset here too. We'll see. Let's just see. I should dump more cards there, but Yeah, I'll, I'll get a wasteland bonus here. I think zombies... Are zombies boosted on Wasteland? What is with these power-ups, dude? Front decking. Top decking, dude. This guy's got a Colonel Deck Leader? What ability does he have? Colonel. Extended support range. If he has. Egg Trap? Well, extremely niche. Yeah, it's only in this deck because of the limitation that I have to abide by. Stupid. No. Alright, here's what we're gonna do, right? Apparently Forbidden Memories let you fuse with uh, spell cards and traps. Would have been neat here. I can't do anything with, but you know. I could probably kill this card. If I buffed this shitty machine. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. 
I want a better... I want a better machine for that. This power-up is for nothing. I'm gonna use this power-up to, like... Just do whatever. I don't have the card that that is for. It's a lot machine. No. No, maybe I should have juiced this monster so that I wouldn't be in this situation. We'll see. If I have a really good hand here, then I can punish him for this. Nope. No fucking machines. But, I can, I can stall. Fusion? Who is this? The Immortal of Thunder. He's not gonna be that powerful. Oh, well, he is gonna be this powerful in this terrain, actually. Oops. All female monsters are reduced by 500 points? Jeez. Misogynist card. Look at this dude. What the hell? Sigma card? Alright, I need a good machine to show up. Or else this card's got me fucked. Dead to rights. Alright, more bait. What is that? It doesn't look that good. It's in the 1000 range. Let's see. Oh. Cool. Oh, it's shitter. Okay, what do we got? Dude! Sparks! Oh, brother. Yeah, he hits me here. Unfortunate. Basic introductory to cryptography? I think I just reset here. I'm gonna get hit for a big amount, no matter what. Not quite 2700, because I'll be off wasteland, but still. No need to take this damage this early, plus... More resurrection. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I could have dealt with this, but... I did not play ahead. For that to have been worth it, I would have needed to get... Um... The Machine King or whatever. And then hit back harder. But, I'll just take the loss there. You don't really lose anything anyways. Reincarnate some low cards to get low point cards. What are good low point cards? How do you feel about Redux mod? Well, the thing about Redux mod is they probably change a lot of AI behavior. And since I'm not even all that familiar with the base game, I feel like playing the base game for now is fine. And then one day I'll revisit this game with the Redux mod. This is Cyber Commander. Come back here. I wish that that mod had an option where it was just quality of life changes like times 5 EXP and like nothing else. It's annoying that it's both a hard type and a quality of life mod at the same time. It'd be cool to separate those. Have a base game version of the quality of life stuff, you know? Alright, use this for bait. The bait is better than the 50 LP damage. Didn't Clovis and team add those quality life things? I mean, yeah, but it's part of Redux. What I'm saying is I don't want the full features of Redux if I want to do a base game playthrough. Without all the crazy changes. I just want to do a normal game playthrough that just has some quality of life on it, you know? Shitty cards, man. Oh, there's Machine King, though. Okay. They release the tools to do it yourself. 
All I would want is a times five, I suppose. Right, too bad I don't have both of my fucking buffs in my hand like last time, though. Alright, bait one of those two cards and move back. I need to juice up. In fact, um... Let's clear these cards out of the way. Just cause. And the next turn I'll wait to charge up. I still want to get those cards out of the way for my buffs. It'd be nicer to... Summon that dude with his buffs on him instead of independently from each other. I can't believe the PS3 emulator is the same visual bugs as the fucking PSX2 emulator. It's so weird when that happens. Digital Devil Saga has that as well. There are bugs on PSX2 that are also there on this PS3. Okay, well, I didn't get the hand I wanted, of course. I can make a machine dragon though. I think this might not fuse. It does. That's good on this terrain. I'll bait him. He probably has something to compete with this, but I'll uh I'll bait him. moving. But he doesn't want to flip up the card. That's weird. It's weird that he hasn't flipped up the card. But I'm also kind of getting surrounded here. I'm, I'm making the first move. How much of a power increase, though? I'm still good. Good. That's a dub. Metal Dragon. On the move. I could do a triple fusion, or a, rather a double fusion. In fact, if I waited a turn and I had Bolt Escar go, I could have made Twin Headed. But that wouldn't have been that wouldn't have been good on this terrain. It's a thunder type. I'm getting this guy out of here. This guy just needs to survive in one place to be useful to me. Oh, he's on the move. I gotta do something about that. He doesn't care. But I don't particularly think these cards are all that powerful either. Okay, this is annoying. Are dinosaurs buffed on metal? I feel like they should be. Is there a machine dinosaur fusion? Doesn't matter, this is good enough. I'll do. Yeah, he also has to be in defensive position, but I need to be moving him more. Oh, he's gonna... Shit, that guy was gonna get killed. He's not gonna go after my deck leader. He's going after that dude. Oh boy, I should do something about that. Alright, suits in my hand. I could probably do something cool. Or not. My stimmy is going to get killed, because I don't have a good hand. A lot of bad hands. And I don't have any summoning points. See, if I could just summon this guy, it'd be over. Get his hose. Oh. Unfortunate. Oh, wait. I forgot. You can flip off of good terrain. I forgot you can do that. We good. I'm not gonna take this bait though. It could be enough to beat Metal Dragon there. I don't want that to happen. 
Alright, let's just save points. What is that guy up to? See, now... Now he's played himself. I can, I can just do this. Oh, he's close. I would have lost if I took the bait earlier, but now I got him. We're doing well. Alright, Machine King time. When I had those buffs. Maybe, now that I got those guys off my ass, maybe I delay now. So that I can get the buffs. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually gonna toss this entire deck. Too many monsters? Yeah. Well, I don't need any of these. Like, I'm gonna kill the dinosaur so that I get one more machine on the deck so that uh, Machine King is buffed. Well... Kill this. So that, you know, I can actually spawn Machine King. Setting down a million traps. He probably already has. But I'll just send in Machine King later. Deal with that later. Oh, I should have done that earlier. I would have had even more damage on him. Fuck. Oops. These are new strats to me. Alright. At least this time I'll have enough cards to, you know to lead with before sending in my strong guy. They're pushing in on me. Why would they do that? Block attack. I'll sit on that for now. No fucking buffs, man. Right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I'll summon him next turn. Why did I kill that? I, sh I shouldn't have killed that machine. I just lost damage on my on my dude. Well, I've been getting bottom decked a lot on my juice. I'll just summon a machine over Bolt Escargo next time. Also, holy shit, that one's got, that one's got baited. I'll do that. Oh, yeah. I'll get him. Summon them. I'll summon machines again over these two. Oh yeah, I should have fucking gone in on that. No, that's the closest I could could have gotten with the dragon. All that bluff, real fast. Uh oh. Actually based. Okay. Write that one down. Cybersaurus. Alright, I'm gonna wait one more turn for my fucking buffs. If not, I'm going in. Fucking buffs. Where are they? The bottom of my deck. I have two of them. And I haven't seen a single one. There's 17 cards left. Come on, man. Okay, there's a limiter removal. That's that's a buff. It's one of three actually. All right, uh, here we go with the magic card that will kill this. Let's see it. We're good. That's huge. What is this effect? Spellbind. Whatever. It's not permanent. 
Yeah, this is whatever. Is he doing a ritual? I don't know if there's any way to tell if they're doing rituals in this. Yeah, just one turn, that's no problem. Get trolled a little bit. No big deal. I can punish that. How would you run away? I might get fucking trolled again. I'm still spellbound though. It doesn't count the turn that you can. Okay. Okay, another power up. Holy based. Alright, we're getting there. Now he goes defense on that bitch ass card. Or not? I'm still out of reach though. Change of heart? Yeah, that would. That would be insane. You can kill me right here and now. Alright, this is the card I'm gonna use to feel things out. I also want to see what that fucking thing is. Yo, Wasteland? Hold up. He's already, he's already in Wasteland, actually. So I'm just gonna play it... here. I think that reaches that little water space. Oh yeah. Everything but the water space. Okay, whatever, dude. They really should highlight the radius that that's actually gonna apply to, whatever. That fucking weird card. Yeah, there it goes. What a bitch. Clown zombie. Yeah, clown right. Hmm. Could get this guy out of the way, but I'm gonna get nothing for it. Yo, does the game highlight? When I'm gonna get spellbound. You see that highlighting on the. You see that? I'd never noticed that. I'm glad that the game actually tells you. Alright, okay. Alright. I don't think that's enough power to overcome. Nice. It was like. Using defense, that's fine. Alright, it's just a matter of time now. I should have played this earlier to catch the guy that spellbound me and gotten massive damage off. That might have been good. Didn't consider. Oh well. Am I at max? No. Just get some shit out of the way then. Oh god, what is this? The bat's effect is some shit that I don't want to read. Because it's got a, it involves a card that I don't have or care to get. Oi. What are you saying? Oh. You can't do that. Don't ever move. Oh my god, he just opened himself up. Unless there's some kind of weirdo trap. Trap card in my way here. Power increase. It's over. Easy. Easy. It was harder to make my deck for this fight than it was to beat him. Blown the fuck out, as they say. I've got like six ways to buff. It's pretty funny. All right. See, if I were playing with Machiavellian strats, this is where I would get Pump King and begin the nightmare system. I don't know what I want here though, so I'm just gonna go for whatever. Oh, spooky. Dark energy might be good. Oh.
I think... I don't think that's a slot rare either. Oh, whatever. There weren't many good cards in that anyways. Nice. Give me that white rose card, bitch. We're doing well. We already got four rose cards. That's like... How many duels are in this game? Four more and then two bosses? Yeah, one here I haven't beaten. Another one, Pegasus. This dude. And then one more shows up, like, around here or something over the sea. And then it's Seto and then Dark Knight. I'm making a lot better progress than I ever thought I would in one day. Doing Seto route seems viable, especially because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have endgame cards by then. Do we beat Labyrinth Master? No, we have not. I haven't, I haven't attempted him yet, actually. I need three more for a resurrection, right? Let's, uh, let's go do a resurrection. I want to do one resurrection per duel. I only need, um... Three more. That'd be fast. I like resurrections. Pulling the lever. <laughs> yeah, Dark Knight form and self like Yugi Henry Tudor. Well, TJ Henry Yoshi. The card you gonna reincarnate? I don't know. We'll see what we have. Burn. Something that's medium to high deck cost, of course. I don't have anything in mind. Maybe one of those bitch-ass cards I just got. Let me look at them. I didn't look at those cards I got, actually. Unfortunate to get two of the same card, but not all three for the potential slot rare. Oh. Woof. Not good. None of these are good. That's a Spellbind card, though. Would be good for trolling, I suppose. I think that's a good card, actually. Imagine baiting the enemy to attack a card in defense, and then... That, that spellbind applies before the attack comes out. Think about that. So, you catch them face up, you see what they have, and then if you could, like, kill them, then you, like, get free damage and potentially a lot. Yeah, I think I'll I'll keep and run that card. That could be very good if the situation calls for it. You need forest. I see forest is good for me if I need to overcome the enemy's terrain bonus. You know, like if if their terrain doesn't do anything for me except make all those spaces a living nightmare, but I have not one but two terrain cards to um, to nullify that. It basically makes it neutral for me. I think I'll run that. And not burn it for reincarnation. Unless it has like higher odds of making another terrain card out of it. I don't know. I will try that at least once. I want to see if that would pay off. That could be Pog. Could be dog. It was the debut of Shape Snatch. What is that? Why did they call him a knight? He's obviously a fencer. You reincarnate a terrain card, you have a higher chance. Yeah, because it's like the same cost, right? And they're all the same cost. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. But I will only save it if I, like, actually get the terrain card out of it. I'm not gonna lose the terrain card for nothing. Some knights use fence equipment to bypass armor from the s Talks wiki page. Thank you, s Talk wiki page. Now look like a fool. Hey, but look at his hat, though. What kind of hat is that for a knight? 
It's got a feather in it. That's 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 no knight. S talk or nose talk. Alright, let's see it. Do I not have a reincarnation? Maybe I needed one more. Maybe I miscounted. That should have been five, right? I don't think I have a reincarnation already. Oh, there it is. What the hell is with this game? Alright, let's find that. Let's try the terrain card, shall we? Where's it? Oh, there we go. Wrong sort. Oh, it's already in the it's already in the chest. I forgot I got rid of it. There you are. What is that? Oh, some bitch ass rock. I already have that. Bottom dweller. The fuck? You ain't gotta do him like that. Blackface? Oh hell nah. Where is that? Definitely resetting this. Permanent trap. Hmm, okay. That triggers against power-ups involving increases in attack and defense, reversing the positive effect to a negative amount. Okay, so... That's actually pretty decent. Imagine I get this early on, I put it down. They try to fucking juice up some monster, and then instead of getting plus 500, it gets minus 500. That's actually pretty good. Hate to say. The other two cards were. There's a fish. The high cost. This would be good to reincarnate next time. Gonna lose social credit for using it. That is true. Fish, but not rare. This would be good to just put down and forget about it, and then pog out when it works out. It's just not as immediately useful as like using a forest card in like a tune field or something crazy. I didn't burn wasteland. I burned forest. I had two terrain cards, and forest wasn't all too useful, except for, you know, nullifying enemies advantageous. Reset? Mm, I'm tempted. But this could be huge. Especially in, like, endgame fights where they just, like, summon power-ups out of their ass. I wonder if rare fish is feasible in this game. I was tempted to make rare. I was tempted to password in rare fish so I could make rare fish my fucking deck leader for the meme, but that was that would take too much time. Yeah, I think I'm using this card. I think it could be huge. This card could be huge. Alright, let's get all those shitty cards out of my deck that I put in just to do that fight. I'm calling it a fight, it's a duel. Get all my... Get them boys' put together again. How many cards? I got two more. Reverse Trap, and... Nightmare Scorpion, okay, we're good. 895, out of flexibility. Yeah, when I'm thinking about the usefulness of Rare Trap, I'm thinking about Seto Kaiba instantly top-decking a fucking Blue-Eyes White Dragon and then buffing it. Imagine, imagine hitting a minus 500 on Blue-Eyes White Dragon, that's, that's Pog right there.
This game has so much PS1 energy and I love it. I love PS1-esque PS2 games. Like Tekken Tag 1. Yeah, this card is huge. In the right scenario, I guess. If I really wanted big stimmy, I could farm Keith and get like slot machine or some other fucking high-end machines, but I don't want to do that. It was a struggle to fight him. We only, we only won because he killed himself like three turns in a row. Yeah, Pegasus comes last. Absolutely last. Let's see what the Labyrinth Roller has to offer. I'm not touching the darkness dude for a while. That was a nightmare. That was a 40-minute nightmare. Whereas, I would love to get a Labyrinth card so I could, like, make my own custom terrain maps. I love that card. Hopefully I get it. Yeah, the arcade version of Tekken Tag 1. Arcade version looks like Tekken 3, but the PS2 version is totally different. Also, holy shit, this terrain is goofy. Holy fuck. This is interesting. Alright, there's an early lunar removal, and we're putting that down and forgetting about it. This terrain seems like it would be very, very good to stall- Oh, shit! Oh no. Crush terrain, fuck. Oh, that just makes it so you have to snake around. Okay, we're good. Yeah, okay, that forces us to take a certain route. This is a weird- Oh, early Machine King, too. Alright. about that confusion. I guess suggestion, sure. Since you asked so nicely. See, imagine if I had reverse trap right there. Whatever that card is would be dog right now. Dog shit. Is he gonna push it into crush terrain? Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, and there's the cyber commander as well. I'm gonna push that over Crush to fuck around. Move your leader on top of the Crush ring so you don't have to zig Oh, you can do that? Well, it's a bit late for that now, but... Don't take too long. I will remember that for future duels that involve that fucking endeavor. Because there are still more crush tiles to worry about. I can turn it into wastelands, hold up. I'll do that later. Move that card back though. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? 1300? That's fine. That was just a shitter, a shitter monster. But they got killed by Crush? Excuse me. I think over 1500? That was. Oh. I buffed it. They got buffed and then it died. Okay. Interesting interaction. <laughs> Goofy. Oh! The sound. Got all fucked up there for a second. I buffed it. Okay, well, I didn't need that. I was actually 
I needed to get rid of that monster anyway so that I could get that new monster over there, so. I'm gonna wait and see if this card tries to fuck around and find out by going over the crush into a 3k machine. So let me, um... I'm also gonna send a bear trap over it before I, uh, change it into wasteland. Exhaust all my options. Okay, I, I don't want it. It's not moving right though, that's weird. I wonder if you can- can you change crush terrain with a terrain card? I guess we're gonna find out what the effect. Yeah, I guess we're gonna find out if Cyberstein can do something about it. Oh, you can? Okay, cool. Well. What have you done? You just generated a labyrinth. I think? No, he moved over a labyrinth. That's an effect. Okay. Right, I forgot about that. He went over it. It's a thing that they can do. He's gonna go over it into 3500. Can't wait. Wall shadow? Shadow ghoul? I don't think anybody's gonna try and tack this a card though when it's on crush though, so this might not do anything. But that's fine, this guy's gonna kill himself by jumping over walls, it'll be funny. It might be time to pop this as well. I kinda wanna wait till I can juice more monsters, but let's see what happens next turn. Oh, he's moving. Oh. My own trap worked against me. <sighs> Whoa, what was that? That would have been good if it kept going forward and tried to fuck around and find out. I didn't think it would activate like that. I thought it had to, like... It was, like, adjacent to it. It wasn't even adjacent to it. It was, like, right here. Okay, well, lesson learned. Yeah, Wall Shadow, 1600. I would have gotten bopped for like 2k. Damn. Hate to see it. 51 cost. Okay. That's like the second time I've had my own trap work against me like that. Oh well. See, I wanted to send it over the crush to fuck around, but I guess not. to me. The Machine King's effect is also interesting because it doesn't show, like, just hovering over the monster doesn't show the extra damage it'll do, the extra attack, until the effect is applied. The effect is applied on its, on the, on its initial flip-up, so a lot of monsters will probably fuck around and find out what the effect on that Cool. Yeah, I think what I should have done, if I had known that that trap was going to do what it did, I should have flipped this up, gotten rid of the trap, and then just like, let them walk into damage. But now it's going to be a while. Hope something happens. So see you later, hope bagels. Yeah, there will be more of this tomorrow. I don't think anybody's gonna try and fuck with this card. Although, if I wanted to sacrifice LP to make a bridge here, 
I could absolutely activate battle on my own. And I... Th mm, I wonder if that would affect this tile instead of this tile. I don't know. We don't know. We just don't know. I think it would affect the tile that it is on. And that would be the next tile forward and not the crushed terrain. Yeah, it would affect it beyond the crush, I figured. Crazy game. Right, we still need to get rid of fodder cards, but I, get, I suppose we can make another machine to just sit in the back row and juice. Huh, it's not that important, actually. Maybe I could send Nightmare Scorpion across the threshold just so I can see what's there. I'm gonna start getting this guy around the bend. Let's start working on that. It's good that this wasteland is here so that it can um, intercept. Oh, look at this guy. He's just moving. Oh, shit. I, I didn't see him. Oh, boy. Um, shit. That's a problem. He's sneaking up on me, but it it's guaranteed a bitch-ass monster that isn't good because it's on crushed terrain and is alive. So that's not too bad. It's just gonna fuck up my back row. Gonna force my hand on the limit removal. You know what? Fuck it. Do it over there. Sooner than later. Is that gonna die? He is. He's actually gonna die, I can't move him. Or oh, whatever. Well, because that guy's juice, they'll survive whoever's gonna attack, or not even come close, perhaps. Now that I use that card, he can defend himself. Unless this card has some crazy effect where it flips up against like 3 billion more attack out of nowhere. And might be screwed a little. Yeah, let's, uh, well, if I turn him into attack, he won't be as strong. Big Brain says he won't be faced up in the defense position, he will lose 300 attack and will lose the fight. The only reason why he's this strong is that he's double buffed. Think about it. So this will do, just fine. Just to save Cyber Steam. Oh, actually, no, I tried to interact with this card and I couldn't turn him because I already I had already exhausted his play. I tried, though. If I had the ability to change him into attack mode, I would have been able to move him back as well. See, now, he, now, he's, now he's afraid. I should have let him in. Actually, no, I didn't do anything to that guy in the back. He just went defense on his own. Now he's going to do nothing. I could still go kill him, but that's... No, I couldn't because... It would, it wouldn't, he wouldn't be in defense anymore. God, this game. So many neurons are firing right now. All right, now it's just a matter of time until I get over that threshold. In fact, I'm actually... gonna send this guy over there to fuck around. It's the Spellbind. The Spellbind activates first and then I can get him out or put him in defense. I'll put him in defense after spell button. This guy's a bitch ass. But he's not gonna attack me. I don't know if this will proc if I attack that card on my own. I think he has to be attacked. Well, it says, it says when this card is flipped up. I don't know if I can do that manually. Change commander. This time wouldn't get debuffed. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's way too dank for me to comprehend in the moment. That's smart though. Too much trouble for one ambiguous card though, but smart. Way too dank. All right, now we just gotta get in there. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna fuck with that card, actually. 
This has got to be a trap card, though. It has to be. Let's see. Okay. So we know it works now. And I was able to flip that card. Oh, really? I... Okay. That's valuable intel that I can't just fuck around and do that. At least I know that attacking this card will not trigger a trap. But I lost LP for that intel. At least I know all my stress. Okay, there's reverse trap. I'm putting that down and forgetting about it. Does it have to be in any position? No. Yeah, I'm still that set. Okay. Yeah, the camera angles get all fucked up in, like, every emulated version of this game, it seems. It doesn't look as bad as it did on PCSX2, though, when I was testing this. So I'm glad I'm on the PS3 for this. This guy has just enough attack to, like, punish my deck leader if I go over that. Would have been awesome to summon and go over it, though. But, you know... If I don't want that to happen, if I don't want that to happen, I can put a card in defense and then have my deck leader move up. This is a weird duel, but I feel like I should have this. Actually, I could kill that guy. I'm gonna kill him. Oh. I thought it- okay. I thought 15- I thought above 50- whatever. That was a shit card anyways. So now I know that this guy can't go over. I was wrong. Okay. Whatever. It was a whatever card, so I wanted to fuck around with it. Armless intel. Good to know how shit works. Yeah, if I move the deck leader into the crush, I can summon. Now that I know that that guy can't fuck around... Oh, he actually could attack me. Why is this guy attacking me? What's happening? What's wrong with you? Get, get killed for 2k. See, I don't know if that 1500 attack card would be able to hit me on the crush terrain and then die. So I'm not gonna fuck around with that. I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid of that interaction. Yeah, it, it can hit me and then die. I don't want that to happen. Holy shit, this card keeps getting more and more powerful. 3,900 unbuffed. The only thing that can get me now is terrain. And all of these cards that we'll have to... That he'll be able to stall with. Too bad I don't have Wasteland. I think the play is, I'm gonna stall for Wasteland so I can activate Wasteland here and then... Um... I'll be able to get cards over this, no problem. We'll see what happens. Moving my deck leader over that other back terrain would be good. Would have been good. So that I could have surrounded this guy from two angles instead of just one. Be able to stall. Oh, here's the, um... The power-up buffer. I only used one power-up. I still have another one in the deck. Let's, uh, get this in play. Stimmy. Reverse trap might affect your buffs as well. That's... Sounds counterintuitive. Oh, what is that? That's the card that I want. Uh, that's really... Okay, that changes things. I actually think this is a Labyrinth card, right here. 
This is how I beat him that one time. He did that, and then I flipped a card that flipped his card, and he died. Do I don't have that card? That changes things. Because I can no longer attack him from this angle. But I can get a I can I can farm for a mountain or a, a wasteland card, get it here, and then cross over and hit him from the back. That is what we will do. Save that block attack for the right moment. I'm gonna start moving over here. This is this just got very weird. Okay, now you guys have got me afraid of reverse trap. I don't... Traps don't ever work on you, though, right? I feel like it would say that. Why, why would a trap work on myself? That would be nefarious. Devilish, even. You're winning? We are. We are winning. Oh, there's a new fusion. Too bad it's gone. This might be a long one. Surely Wasteland will show up any minute now. Jinzul number seven. If you could get a card in, of your own in the space where the new lab terrain spot opened up, you'd be in a position to win via lockout. Oh, like if I surrounded him, it'd be checkmate. That's the thing in this game, right? Like, he won't, he won't be able to run if I manage to get over this crushed terrain. Is that what you're saying? And that's... that that counts. Maybe that's why the Labyrinth killed as well. That exact mechanic, perhaps. That's wild. I should have used... that Spellbind Insect card to go over here and, like, push these cards out of the way to see, like, what they were. Like, if it were a spell trap or whatever, it would have gotten, like, either used up or nullified or ran over. And if it were a real card, they would have, I would have known what it was. Isn't this game basically Fire Emblem Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Tactics Yu-Gi-Oh. That's a good way to describe it. Alright, at the maximum number, I should probably kill something. This card needs to get in defense position here and just sit. Thankfully, the labyrinth that got stolen to make this labyrinth gave me an extra bit of flexibility to get through here and make my setup. If you block the opponent's summon zones? Okay. That's really good to know. That's why that labyrinth killed me. You know, that one time I played this game and I won via that. monster. There's a bear trap. I'm actually going to send that in. I should kill this card. Fun. It depends on how you approach it. I didn't approach it the best way possible. I could have done better things here. Alright, well, here's the moment of truth on this fucking... on this trap card. I 
I will fuck around and find out. There it is. Now we know. I'm just glad we know, okay? I'm just glad to know. I'm just glad to know that I can send that fucking card to hell. I'm just glad I know. I'm glad there's a smile on my face. I'm smiling right now, and not coping. It's fine, this card is still so fucking powerful that, um, it doesn't matter. Kinda. That sucks, but... Yeah, that's fucked up. That's really fucking goofy. Okay, well, we move. What is the max number of fucking... It's like a machine dragon. Never mind. I need to kill this card. There we go. Don't run out of cards in your hand. I won't get... You, you don't get instantly killed. You don't insta-lose in this game if you run out of cards in your hand. You just won't be able to summon anymore, which is, you know, just as bad, but you won't insta-die or anything crazy. I don't gotta worry about that, necessarily. I just can't believe that fucking trap works on me. That's, that's insane. I guess it's so powerful that I might as well have that caveat. Alright, there it is. Wasteland. Now we can make a play. At long last. Before I do that, let me, uh... Move on the bear trap. It'll work on this space, right? If I play it here, I want to maximize the amount of spaces I might get some juice. Is a magic counter you're fucked? Perhaps. If if he had a magic counter, then my reverse trap would have gotten killed, right? I've had that card down the entire, the entire duel. I shouldn't have moved that, right? If this is a real card, then if he moved here, then it would have gone off. Now he's just gonna run it over. Let's see. Okay, I'm just using it here. Making sure. Alright. Now we have a road. A road to victory. I should flip this up, I think. I'm actually... No, he would... I wonder if I should kill this guy. No, he's in defense. What does it matter? Never mind. Let's let it rock. Last set of going to this duel. No, he don't want it. He's afraid of my trap card. I also have the um I'm flipping this up. We're gonna make this faster. I still have this card. I'll use this if um, the situation calls for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna backpack this guy. That's a strat. Now that I've got a bridge here, those cards are like almost completely out of the battle, basically. What is that? Oh, that's my card. Smile. What's it gonna do? I don't think that does anything. Unless... 
it doesn't do anything because he used it earlier. What the hell? Okay, buddy. Guy. Interesting encounter. Oh, fuck it. Okay, just run over his thing. Nice. Clearing the way. I think I I think I'm ready to go. Uh, let me see if he had another labyrinth card. I want to say he scripted to set up another labyrinth card next to him for some weird reason. Magical labyrinth. Okay, yeah, that was one of them. Didn't he use that earlier though? That's the car I just killed. Alright, let's just make sure not to backpack myself somehow either. That's also possible. Pretty safe though. I destroyed your trap? Oh, I thought I deleted his trap. Oops. The camera angle fucked me up. Alright, well. I got two cards here. Okay, really? 400 defense? That's spellbind, though. That's only one turn, though. Power decrease? Oh, hold up. How much? What kind of effect is that? Hold on. Graveyard. Uses all monsters located in vertical and horizontal spaces. Okay, so it's like Ray Geki minus clap minus 300, huh? Damn, I'm good. I Offense collapsed, but it still isn't there. I'm still so powerful despite all these effects I've ran into. Whatever, dude. That doesn't really seem like he has any fucking counterplay anymore. This is deck leader effect. Nothing? Cool. Alright, now we just wait. I could listen to this song for an hour straight, I think. It's catchy, but it also has a nice progression in it. What's this? Nothing. Eight guardian ritual? A ritual, okay. Interesting. It's over, right? Or do you have to do that with a deck loser? It's not over. But I mean, I'm just gonna hit him for free. If I were cocky, and I had access to save states, I would, like, take my deck leader and move in just to win via that fucking interaction, but I don't care enough. It's literally perfect amount of attack. Let's go. Easy clap. Literally all I had to do was make a bridge. On that side of the terrain. Hell yeah, dude. Might as well reward me with an easy fucking victory if it was gonna take that long. I'll take it. God, there's a lot here. I want that labyrinth card. Oh. Oh. I don't even know what it looks like. I vaguely know what it looks like. I got his deck leader though. Oh well. Nice. I'll take it. In fact, I wonder... I might... I don't plan on doing any more duelists tonight, but I do want to juice up a little bit. And I think I want to grind for that. One of those terrain cards, even. I'm gonna try a really fast strat for that. Let's try something I could do within like 10 minutes, instead of 40. Can you reduel them? Oh yeah! Absolutely. Let me look at my cards first, the ones I just got. Alright, 
like Shadow Ghoul. Or like Shitty Ghoul. This is the one that can move on Labyrinth. That's actually neat. And it transforms. Monster Tamer. I press the fucking 3D viewer button. All insect monsters are increased by 300. Okay, that's kind of whatever. And needle on Yeah, it needs a fucking card to transform into something. Maybe useful. Maybe. I think well, this card would be really good as resurrection bait. I don't plan on using this in any other context, so I'll resurrect this. It's a lot of DC. He tames monsters. It's true. It's nice playing a game for once where I can actually like mouse around my computer while playing it because not only is it not a PC game, but it's not fucking Kingdom Hearts. It doesn't let you do that shit on purpose. It's been a while since I played a game like this. It's nice and chill. Alright. Let's try and do some shit where I move my deck leader onto the crushed terrain and like summon through it. I want to See how quickly I can backpack this guy via that strap. Can't believe you can move your deck leader on terrain or crush terrain. I feel like I mentally ruled that out. I was like, no, that's insane. I'll send a bear trap in there just because he's gonna line up like maybe a 1500 attack over there. Let's we'll see. Oh, what is that? I did something. There's Cyberstein. And Nightmare Scorpion. See, this is the card that I wanted to send through here, just to get intel. Hmm. I'm go okay, I assuming that this guy's AI will do the same thing, or he's gonna try and attack me with some bitch-ass card, um, I'm gonna set this up so I can make a bridge over here. So that, like, I'm gonna just sit on that terrain and wait for him. I mean, like, the surf counterpart to Demi Smurf. That'd be cool. See how many slots I have. Oh. At least this will be in the graveyard. I'd love to get this fucking card. It's interesting. That said plus a thousand, but he only has 4,800. Maybe that's a cap. Maybe there's an LP recovery cap in this game. Because I definitely didn't do. Did he take 200? Oh, that card is making him lose LP, what the hell? He did not move that card around at all last time. Interesting. What card is that? Do you know? Based on the effect, do you know what that is? I would like to know. Gurai Gumo? What's its, uh, what's its values? What are we doing with here? 220 attack? Okay, that's good. That's very good to know. That changes everything. Yeah, that reverse trap card went down a lot in the tier list, knowing that it'll affect me too. If I still had forest, I would have double the odds that I could have made that bridge a lot sooner. But, now that I know that it does that, I can play accordingly and I can make it work out for me. Is he sending a card this way? Not this time, huh? I don't know if it's possible for the duelist to kill themselves with that card by moving it. He's probably just gonna let it sit there, though. He won't be able to cross the crush. That bear trap won't do anything anymore. I'm gonna see if he moves. If he moves to the side, then I'll 
send the bear trap forward. If not, then I'll just kill it. Royal Guard. Yeah, he's just, it's interesting. He makes a formation right in the crush there, so like, it's it's kind of like they assume you're gonna summon through it. It's interesting. It seems disadvantageous though. Goodbye card. Oh, my ears! What the fuck? Why does this game emulate so weirdly on anything that emulates it? Okay, let's fuck it, let's see what happens. Probably should have done that when I had someone good to, you know. Good to push through here, but you know, we're here. I'm just fucking around. Silly little guy. Actually here's where we're gonna right? See what he does. He'll probably just try and hit me and then kill himself. Because it would be worth it. Oh? It doesn't even flip him up. I doesn't know what he is. Thanks to the chat. Ooh, it's Aki. Damage. Okay. It's like sparks, but good. What the hell? I don't have anything that would be any like spell casters ready to go. What's this guy's defense stat? Certainly he can't do more than this. There's a good chance the AI is too stupid to hit you since they're on crush. I feel like the AI would be stupid enough to hit me on crush and then die. Warrior insect might make insect warrior. I'll try it. I have any insects. I think they have one in this deck. I can make a dino machine. I don't have any. Oh, I should have moved that card in the back. I forgot about him. 100 defense? Oh, brother. Oh my god, this is big. This is huge. Effect. 500? Oh. It's got some bitch-ass effect that nullifies the amount of damage it should be taking. I wonder if I'll try that again. Cancels all power, increase or decrease. What? Why do you only take 500 though? What? Huh? Excuse me? That does that she, he should he should have taken like four billion damage or whatever. It is odd. Yeah, I've got that fusion list open right now. I have not been looking at it as much as I should be. It takes too much time. And the spider in attack position. I could kill this guy in defense. He's an attack. But he should. He should. I feel like he should have taken enough damage to kill him and then kill him. Not 500. Oh, would a billion damage be taken? Well. I thought it would be a difference of defense stats. I thought he would take like 2600. I should have had him in um, offense. We'll see what he does next turn. Why did Cap out at 500 then? At the maximum amount of damage that can be done if you're in defense? I thought I could kill him. Oh, that's a stalemate right there. This is a weird duel already. Way different than the last attempt. Nullify targets, buffs, debuffs. Excluding terrain. Oh, this is terrain. That's the only buff he has right now. Oh, 
thought that would blow him up because he has such a low defense. Okay. I don't understand that. I will proceed. This is a totally different duel than the last time. I guess... Let me... Just delete cards until I get something that can contest that, I guess. Delete everything. Hell yeah. How could I do it, actually? If monsters attack is greater than defense, the defender loses nothing because the monster is in defense. He was in attack. I don't understand that, but, you know, I guess that's how it would be. Ooh. Goose. There's a dragon. Dragon these nuts. I don't have enough to kill this guy, though. I want this guy out of the way, so I can just, like, the whole point of me running this back was so that I could abuse this, and now we're at a stalemate. Hate this shit. Oh, the spider's in defense. I can just, hold up. You're right. Why did it? Eat this guy's ass. Get him out of there. <laughs> Holy, okay, that fucked, that fucked me in the head, so I didn't know what to do there. Okay. We good. I want to hold off. I'm also gonna get rid of this reverse drive. I don't plan on using it this encounter. I'm just gonna bum rush this lineup. Yeah, I totally forgot about that fucking. I've never seen a card that weird. And I was so caught up on the, uh, fact that it only took 500, I thought I would, like, kill him right away. For some reason. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh boy. Of course. Infinite! You can't even attack this guy! That's... Gee, I wish I had that. That's insane. That's actually insane. Well, at least this was a whatever card. Now I can kill him. And get him out of the way. Let's just get some cards out of the way here. Get out of here. Eternal Spellbound on flip up, even in fucking defense. Fucking okay, A. Okay, well. Interesting. Insane. Oh boy. Another one of them? I didn't even notice that there were two of them. It's fine. I'm willing to take that damage. Oh, at least I can bait that guy into going into defense, I suppose. That is something I can do. Alright, here we go. Machine Stimmy. I have been forgetting to move this guy. But I don't think I'm gonna get and I don't think I'm gonna be able to flip this terrain anytime soon. Unfortunately. What if I do it myself? Oh, it has to be engaged in battle. I 
I wonder if, what if you can, it'd be cool if you could engage a card in battle, like, yourself, in some weird way, like, attack your own card. To have effects like that happen, but that would be insane, with some cards. I wonder if this will apply to cards that are summoned after I flip up. We'll see. It might not, actually. Whoa! Oh no, he's just going to the position of the other one. Where the other spider was. I wonder if he's gonna- I wonder if this spider is gonna do the exact same thing the last spider did, and try to attack this card and fuck around and find out. And it will get killed. I don't have to put it in defense this time. Inshallah. Hmm. Let's see what happens next turn. It's a global effect. Oh yeah, I guess I could turn it down and then reapply it. I wouldn't have to do that though. I think I took 100 LP to take 150 LP. He killed me. Well, I miscalculated. Oops. What the fuck? Just what did I just do? Shift. Where are all these new cards? Okay. <laughs> wow, how useful. Wish I had that. Okay, I miscalculated. Why did that happen? I thought he would have way less attack off his good terrain. Oh well. Should we read what shift does? Sure, I'm curious to see. Your monster with the highest attack is transported to wherever- okay. You just teleport your highest attack monster. It's not like Dimension Hole where it changes where your leader is. Okay. Unfortunate taking damage there, but that wasn't much. Shit cards for days, though. Try to delete some. Fusion. A little armadillo. Another machine. I'll take it. Cards two spaces in front is stronger than Jerry. Final flame. Just pulling all the stops. That's like two hundred. Weirdo. Man, now I can't summon over there. Oh, there's wasteland. Hold up. I could just pop it here and change everything. Game changer. But now he can attack me. If he has a wasteland card, that is, that would be very unfortunate. Too bad all my cards are out of position for this. I'll just move everyone to the, the right. Stage right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna punch him for that, that's for sure. Hopefully, I have a better hand to put together here. Oh, why would I? If I move this guy, I'm gonna lose damage. Goddamn. This is not optimal. Make space. What's it gonna be? Oh, man! How does a spellcaster have 2400 on fucking wasteland? Oh, I'm just fucking around right now. Spellbind, though, I can take advantage of that. Maybe. 
Not right now, that is. Yeah. This is a mess. Where are my good cards? I have 12 cards left and I still haven't seen my homie. My dude. If I had stimmied that monster, I would have won that. Should have considered that. This worked. I... We'll see what happens. I think I used that out of turn. We'll still activate. Let's see. Nice. Well, it activated, but it didn't. Well, it, it'll activate now, I think. Or not. Yeah, I used that up and did what he did last time. Oops. Oh, here we go. Okay. Alright, it's time. How much is that going to be? Zero? Was he in defense? Whatever. I always I killed him. I didn't notice he was in defense, whatever. Special effect. Man, these fucking effects. Can't do any damage. Weird shit. Zero battle damage. That's fucking stupid. I wish I had that card. Out of here. Now this guy's on the run. I'll we'll probably just go defense and we'll just kill him. Perhaps. Any cards back here? No. I think I still have that plus 600 as well. Just waiting. Watch out for that. It does the flashing thing. I never noticed that in all the time I've played this game. Did you just lose attack? I thought this guy had higher attack. Did you just lose attack for killing that guy? I think he was at like 3800. Did I misread? At 3,900. Did he lose attack for that? If I'd known that, I would not have fucking done that. What the hell? It's the Labyrinth of Ludo. He's the lost 900? Why? There we go. Spider effect to debuff upon combat. I'm never gonna touch that fucking monster ever again. God. Get that dude. Alright, I've got three stimmies here. I can make up for that. I can make that back. Put this guy defense face up, and then I will activate that next turn, and then the next turn I will work on sliding that over to him. Let's do this in a smart way, though. I'm just doing this card. It's 
part of this find early TCG meta, so it makes sense he's nuts in this game. That's cool. Legacy overpoweredness. Who is this weirdo? Get him out. Oh, he's gonna take damage. He's gonna attack. What the hell? What a liability. Am I gonna get spellbound or some weird fucking. Is he gonna have like 1000 attack now? Okay, we're good. I'm not afraid of all that. Next turn, I'll apply the second juice, and then I'm just gonna roll. What's it gonna be? Instant defense? Oh, that labyrinth fucker is really gunning for my deck leader with this. He's got two of them. Two labyrinth crawlers. While I'm doing that, yeah, I'm just getting the stimmy, and then we'll be done. God, the amount of power-ups I have this early on for my monsters, my machines, is so good. Like, I win here. It's over. I think. It's over. Yeah. GG. You really tried it. Do you enjoy your big damage playstyle? That's a un that's a universal thing. Everybody loves big damage. Let's be real. Alright, what are we gunning for? I should have I mean, I should I should looked at the graveyard before going into this. Oh I didn't use that labyrinth card. Goblin thing is there. What else did he have that was good? It's a lot to ask right now, but. I don't know if those cards are fixed, so I'm just going for it. I'm gonna try going for the Goblin thing, because that's a huge amount of LP. Get back. Oh. Thank you. Oh! Green ball, not leaf? I'm pretty sure it's the leaf. But that could be wrong. This is hard to do on purpose. Oh. I got Dream Clown. And I think that's 500 damage. I was one away from the fucking LP recovery. I think I got the big damage, and I got the clown. I like the clown. The clown is insane. That's good. I think that was a dub, getting those cards. Let's see. Alright, Dream Clown. I applied it. Triangle. Dude. Look at this dude. Asshole. That's a good card. Ukazi. 500 LP. Yeah, that's good. That would have saved my ass. I would have won that duel earlier if I had that. I had 80 LP left and I fucking died. I had no offense. Cockroach Knight. Actual dog shit. Cool. But I got insane... Okay, this card, imagine, imagine, like, uh, Keith's Barrel Spider from earlier. Imagine him chasing me down, and then I pop this as, like, a defensive pop, and then it's over. He's gone. This is really good. I'm glad I got that. And then this is nice, too. 500 damage. It's, like, sparks, but 10 times better. I'll run that. This card is good for this... Shadow Ghoul? Oh, this is my Labyrinth card. This can go over Labyrinth. I might run that in certain... in certain situations. Yeah, Nightmare Scorpion, but way better. Why is the music hit so hard? I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh! games of this era just kind of went nuts. This and FM. For good memories. My Transforms has 3k defense? Okay, I'm keeping it. That's insane. Brick wall. Eternal spellbound shouldn't be an effect in this game. Yeah, it's abusable, especially when the effect is that easy to proc. At least it's only once. All right, that's a dub. I want to do one more, um, one more spin, so to speak. So let's um, 
I think I only have three more to go until my next resurrection, so let's save. And then farm some defeats, and then I will do one more good spin. I'll reset like once or twice, and then it will be, it'll be it for today. Oh my fucking DC. Alright, I'm just lose to Rex for this. Save, I did. We did it. Yeah, Gorgon's eye could utterly hard count your fell from going to defense position, yeah. What am I doing? I wonder if I could- hold on. I- I know I'm getting ambitious, but let me see if I can beat him. I should be able to just demolish him. Maybe get a couple more cards out of it. I mean, we're on Wasteland after all. I'm just gonna bomb rush him and see what happens if it doesn't kill him within like five turns. Whoa, he's gaming. I'm gonna bomb rush him and see what we can get done. This game is fun. It's very fun to stream this. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I love when they do task shit with their menuing. It's so funny to watch. Please more. This absolutely we're gonna be playing this all week. Good ass game. Goofy ass game, I should say. You saw what Keith did. Maybe if you were here. I'm starting to memorize some of these fusions, too. Ain't that nice. I miss- I wasn't here for Keith, what happened? I... There's no better way to describe it than just watching the VOD for it. What time- what's the timestamp? Somebody- somebody give this user a timestamp. He killed himself in a very glorious way. And that's putting it lightly. Oh, we're in there. He had two very powerful cards that were encroaching on my deck leader. And then, for some reason, he went away from my deck leader. Specifically, to kill one of his own cards. And that gave me enough time to chase down his deck leader and then murder him. The most questionable thing I've ever happened, I've ever seen in this game, bar none. He went ballistic on himself. It was glorious, definitely. Um, your love for this game seems kind of forced. <laughs> God, that's a classic. I'm never gonna live that comment down. At least I know what card that is. Oh, that's actually threatening. Gary Goomba could subtract half your LP based on a coin flip. That's fucked. Oh! Oh yeah, and then that happened too. When I was chasing down Bandit Key's uh, deck leader, I did that. I ran over one of his buffs and gave it to myself and then hit him. Oh, there's Machine King. Alright, well. Just enough. I wish I sent this Mel Dragon in a different direction. I'm just keep him behind. The funny thing about that message is that it was also a first-time chat from viewer. Uh, if you didn't know, um, 
streamers now are able to see if a chat that is sent is the first one that has ever been sent by that user. And it was their first time. So perhaps they came in, they're like, oh, Stickman Sham is playing Cage 3. Maybe they were watching Kingdom Hearts 3 content over the fucking, um, through the, the, um, the Cage 3 category on Twitch. And they're like, wow, this guy is demonstrating why the anti aqua fight is sloppy and shitty. Your hate for this game is forced. Like, I've never had that be... What's this? What's going on over here? Oh shit, I'm actually gonna lose this fight. Oops. I've never seen somebody... Take that angle when criticizing the things I say about Kingdom Hearts 3, and it was not what I was expecting to see. Fucking weird. Weird shit. He has appeared. How can somebody's hate be forced? I guess, maybe in their mind, they thought that I was forcing it to capitalize on the infamously profitable fucking, yeah, quote-unquote profitable stance of disliking that game for views, which is, like, ridiculous to think about, considering I've done the opposite. Oh. I did all that, I could've just killed him. Cage three cranks. They're out there. What should I get? I, I, I gotta look at the fucking graveyard. It might not be worth doing this because I kill him so fast that there's nothing in here. I might as well just go for whatever then. That looks cool, whatever that is. Invigoration. Was this persona? The game grumps route? This is like an ancient way of making content. Nobody does that anymore. Do they? It's a power-up card. Buff for Earth attributes. Yo! That's the first buff for like specific attributes I've gotten. Actually, that's good. I forgot those existed, to be honest. I wonder if I have any Earth. Um, now loading. A dot .png. Okay. 300. That's not too bad. That's not too good, but, you know, that's something. I think this is his deck leader. And a shitty dinosaur. Okay, well. Glad I got Dream Clown. Where's that? Oh, this is my... That's my active deck. Oops. Oh yeah, I wanted to see what my good cards were in terms of attribute. Earth is, um... What's that look like? What's the color for Earth? It's this one. Okay, so it's, um... The black one. Black and white. It's not brown. It's on my screen. It looks like a... It would be like a dark attribute. Okay. Our attribute sort. Swordsman, Drone Girl, Ogex. I don't have many. Little D. Oh my fucking god. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Machine King is Earth type. Oh no. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. He just got another buff. Okay, let's, let's add it. Let's add it all up. Okay, so minus the stimmy for that one card that's like in face-up defense per, like adding like a hundred per... That's actually this guy's passive, hold on. I thought that was a different monster for a sec. That's his passive. When it's flipped up, it's strengthened by 100 for that, that fight. I, I, I'm not gonna factor that in because that's a lot of math, but... Um, 
He gets 500 for terrain. Stimulus package. Plus 600. Plus another 500 times two potentially. So that's 2100. Twenty four hundred plus the Earth Stimmy. Now let's say you can have four, four other. That's a reasonable amount. Four other. Um, oh yeah, plus the um, how many hundred from that one card? Plus two hundred to so those. Twenty six hundred. Plus three hundred from this. Did I factor that in already? Twenty nine hundred. I don't think that's everything. There's only one more. I factored in the 200 by stimming these. Actually, no, 200 each. I didn't add, I didn't factor that in. So just add 400 to that. It's like 3,000 plus from buffs. Assuming that everything goes my way and I get all of that at once, which is unreasonable to ask for based on today's experience, but. Having, like, being able to have so many buffs that I can apply, like, half of them in a realistic scenario, or, like, apply some to one, some to other, that's really good. I've got so there's so much synergy in this deck already, and I started with, like, a quarter of it in my deck already. Let's build my deck, and then, um, god, I got sidetracked when I was trying to do my, um, I was just trying to farm losses for my stimmy. Goddamn. I'll still do that, though, and then we'll be done, for real, for real. I'm getting addicted to this game again. I didn't think this playthrough would go so well. I thought I'd get like dusted over and over again, and it would be like hard to do. All right, who are we getting rid of? Get the spellcaster out of here. And the water. It's good to have some shitter. Machines, just so I can, like, stack monsters for the extra plus 100. I have so many buffs. Okay, that is every card that I want, every new card. Nice. This playthrough is doing very well. these fucking losses. I think I only have one, two, I think I only have two more that I have to do because I got a clear there. How did Magic the Gathering solve power creep? This seems like a crazy thing to do. Didn't Yu-Gi-Oh create 26 worm monsters that all went with the alphabet? <laughs> Fucking worms. Worm Apocalypse is a really good card art. Yu-Gi-Oh is neat. And I say that as somebody who's never played a real version. Just these fucking early Yu-Gi-Oh! video games that had their own spin on it and were cool. I can't believe what Gate did to himself. I've never seen something that fucking brutal. The, the Just the sheer turnaround that that duel had as soon as he went one space backwards. Set the stage. Damn buddy, clip it. I think it's too long for one clip, but I, I'm i gonna be posting it on Twitter. Once the stream is done, I'm gonna go back and clip it myself and then, or highlight it if it's too long, and then um, I'll post it on Twitter. If you don't wanna find it. Oh, I'm in here. Oh, can't I resurrect from here? 
I can reincarnate. All right. Let's see it. Roaring Ocean Snake? Is that good? The name is familiar. Monstrous Bird, I've seen that one before. That's 2k. Kaminari attack. A little deep. That's a good card. Thunder. Just some dude. 2100 Aqua. When engaging bell transforms, it occupies in the sea terrain. And that, that's not on flip, that's like, is that... Holy shit, this is really good. Does it do that every time? Or is it just once? When one card's flipped up, transforms all adjacent into sea terrain. Wow. It's both. So this card... Always... It, this card is 2600. Always. Okay. I think one of the duelists close to endgame is a water deck. Like right before Seto. In Dark Knight. That's a really good card. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And I got Monstrous Bird as well. In my, um... If this were my, uh... A dragon deck with a, mo a mountain terrain, that'd be even better. Oh yeah. I'm adding that to my deck and then I will be done for real, for real. Holy shit, I'm addicted to this game. It is nice knowing the obscure mechanics that I did not have last time, because that has helped me a lot. This is more fodder for, um, Twin-Headed. It's nice to have some approaches that aren't just insanely powerful fucking machine. We're getting more and more options that don't have anything to do with machines. Paste. Okay. Really, really, really good pull there. Oh my god, I jumped. <laughs> I fucking jumped. Well done. You got me with that one. Okay. Fucking jumpy at midnight. Why did he just kill his other card? I will never figure that out. It was insane. The stupidest thing I have ever seen. Bar none. What was that? What was this? Over Haven? Oh, that's where I came from. That's like the starting place. Okay, well, dub's a dub. That is it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. Something that isn't Kingdom Hearts, I appreciate that a lot. I'm trying to move into that more and more slowly. Press the funny button. Who are we raiding? What time is it? How many people are alive? Oh, people, huh? Nah, I really have to piss, and I don't want to raid without sticking around for a little bit, so I am just going to press the funny stop streaming button, and I will be live with more of this tomorrow at the same time, 6 p.m. CST, or Duels of the Roses. That's the schedule from going. That's the schedule for now, going forward. I will go live at 6 p.m. CST, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I will not be online Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And we're going to be playing this all week. And because this is going so well, perhaps we will do White Rose route as well. Depending on how smoothly this continues to go. Which is, it has been very smooth. I have five fucking Rose cards, dude. Five White cards. How can that be? Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.